We're here. Woo! Defend freedom. Yeah. Let's to defend go, baby. Justice. To defend the American values, American democracy, and first and foremost, right, Christianity. This is a Christian nation, and I'll be dead before that changes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all domestic terrorists. You're looking tiny today, Hassan. Did you shrink? Am I look? You asked specifically before we started to make himself look larger on camera. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Well, okay, only I did. only to, only to compensate for <laughs> the real head size comparison leak that happened earlier on the Twitter page. <laughs> I did ask that, but has, but Ian undid it. This is my natural size. Now I'm getting up. I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> funny. 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 Uh, there I, it is. I, listen, I. I don't appreciate that you have a hot key back Dude, there, you've so. lost so much weight that that is your natural size now. It's okay. kind of crazy. Thank you. It's, you are, you're, you're in your Ethan era, for sure. Thank 100%. You. My hot girl era. Yeah. So, Hassan, who uh, has graciously sat here and watched me promote Teddy Fresh every week, has his own uh, thing going on here. That's right. For the first time. In, in like months, uh, I am doing something that I am obligated to do by uh, my merchandising apparel what? company. They're making you do this? I mean, they they, they ask very uh, kindly. They're, they're like, They're paying on. for it then, right? Uh, yes, and should, yeah, what? yeah, they are, they are, they are, they are. Well, I, this is also a cool thing. Really I want to, no, 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 it's not even, it's not even for. <laughs> This part is not, this part is irrelevant. The ideology hoodies are back in stock. Um, that's the, I think that's the old one. I don't think it's the new one. Can I buy this um, pan? You cannot buy the pan, but it, it's a, this is your brain on ideology. I'm sorry. I failed on that. But <laughs> Sunday, I'm going to be doing a pop-up shop because uh, my friend, uh, Miggy at Reconstruct on Melrose, you guys have probably seen it. Well, maybe not you guys, but everybody in my community knows. Uh, he takes old gear, old clothes, and and engages in cut and sew, like handmade cut and sew uh, reconstructed garments. It's called upcycling. So, yeah. So he, uh, we gave him a bunch of the John Brown collection, and he made patchwork cut and sew uh, one of one. Uh, oh, that's fun. Yeah, I one of those. one, like uh, like a ideology collab with reconstruct so those are limited and you can only get i guess you can only get them if uh you i forget what it is i think 250 dollars if you've spent on the website already you have a chance to win one. Oh, you just they're they're giveaways yeah they're giveaways and same at the pop-up shop as well so this was so anyway uh well did you where do people find the address what's the where's the pop-up the I, if you go to ideology.shop yeah uh, it's on there it says americorps pop-up if you go Dude, to the main Joe. page Three oh three three oh. <laughs> that's uh. Oh yeah, that's some of it. Where's the where's the address? Here, click on the right. On oh, up there it is, AmeriCorps Pop Up Shop. Oh. And if you click on there, you can uh, sign up. I gotta be sign well. up for the address. Do you want anyone to come to this? I think people will come to it. How do they get the address? I think they get a general, free general admission ticket by signing up with Jeff their email. Jeff Dunham at AOL.com. That's my, <laughs> my email. Wait, is that? I've been using that email for a decade, bro. Oh, that's like an actual email you have access to. I've been using it a fake email for a decade. Oh. Wish I had it. Well, that's exciting. I hope that it goes great for you, and I'm sure it will. That's fun. And by goes great, I hope I, I don't get uh, assassinated. Ugh. <sighs> I can't believe you Ethan said might that. pop in actually. You're the one who said it first. I wouldn't say it on camera. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll be all right. I said it's I, a Hassan good Piker, Now that you're using a gun to rob this bank. <laughs> 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 Where'd you guys get that from? Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to jail, dog. What the hell?
I said, now this is a perfect opportunity for someone to know your specific exact time and location. Yeah. Well, I didn't say anything about violence. Okay. Well, there will be armed guards there, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have auto. Will there be explosive devices? Yeah. 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 I took I took some of the some of the landmines you had, uh, specifically the child ones uh, that you have outside of the twenty trillion dollar compound. Yeah. And I I uh, I'm gonna bring them over there. Good. So we're good. All right, so what do we got on the docket today? Hawaii's on fire. Horrific. Although it was apparently Chinese space laser beams, so that's kind of closed the... Oh, dude. Closed the, uh, you know, the case on that. The conspiracies are out of control, but I believe all of them. So, uh, 110... Oprah. You know, it was actually so horrific and tragic. Uh, 110 people are dead. I think there's still like 900 missing, last I saw. And this whole town was just wiped off the earth. And I did not know that you could have that devastating of a forest fire in a goddamn tropical island. But apparently, they've been going through like a super bad drought in Hawaii. The there's, a, there's a bunch of different reasons for it. So, number one, uh, Lahaina is the original capital of the Hawaiian kingdom. And uh, it used to be, you know, very well irrigated. However, due to the sugar plantations and uh, the, the pineapple plantations, they basically, as far as I understand, moved water away from that region, which made the grass and which made the region and the vegetation in general much more dry and much more susceptible to wildfire. So that was number one. That's like the historic reason as to why Lahaina is not also seen as like, uh, you know, great valuable real estate in Hawaii um so and, and that and the beaches or, or lack thereof then on top of that they also brought into the island uh non-native vegetation which uh is is not as moist as the native vegetation on the island like different kinds of grass which uh was way more susceptible to drying and then you have these massive hurricanes happening uh, you know, off the coastline that is carrying, uh, that has like 80 mile winds. Uh, you have these power lines fall uh, because they did not harden their infrastructure for the extreme weather conditions that are now infinitely more likely. And boom, you have a tinderbox basically ready to erupt. That's sad, man. That's crazy. Last place I expected a devastating forest fire. Of course, again, you know, global climate change is causing weather to be insane. And uh, Hawaii's on fire now. Uh, but, like I was saying, the good news is that climate change is actually a hoax. It's a Chinese conspiracy. There's nothing to worry about because, as Tim Poole said, Oh. Uh, it's a space like, laser. We are not a Chinese we are, space we, laser, in fact. Well, at least it's not a Jewish space yeah, laser. Yeah, no, he, he addresses that. He's like, you know, he addresses yeah. that in the video. This is great. Let's see. Well, you can call it whatever you want, but yeah, right. my attitude is, you look, we are not, we are not on good terms with China right now. I mean, we can, we can pretend, oh, no, Bold trade's going on. Like, no, come on. They want... That's actually, from, from really what I good. understand, a horrible analysis. I mean... They're like our biggest trading partner by far. Well, he already addressed that by saying, ah, oh, trade, who gives a shit, whatever. So you're owned on that okay. front. Fair oh, enough. Oh, you think, you think it's important to have uh, a, a decent trade relationship with our largest trading decent. partner? Um, We're uh, all like completely reliant on just, each other. Just Absolutely. multiple billions of dollars of, of uh, commodities being moved back and forth. That's, that's valuable that's to you? That's friendship where I come from. Valuable to you, Ethan? Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. On Taiwan, they're building up their military. There's a chance for escalation, a chance for conflict. They want the South China Sea. And then they've got ships with Russia coming near the Aleutians, coming near U.S. territory, going near Hawaii, and then they're pulling off something like this. So, look. Wait, what? How hard is it to start a fire? It's ridiculously easy to start a fire. Well, that's part of the problem, dummy. If it's that easy to burn down an entire fucking island... The problem isn't the laser. The problem is the fucking weather, the conditions that created. <laughs> but also, the laser is not real. <laughs> okay, but even if it was real, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, why do you need a laser? Go, spe go send, like, Chinese recon to fucking just Matt. light a match. You yeah. know what I mean? We don't even need lasers at, 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 in this situation, according to Tim. 
Yeah. And they can fire lasers? Okay. It's a little what, challenging what is, to get the fire to spread, but there were hurricane level. It said it was like hurricane level winds. Or there's I don't I don't so I don't have high winds. So they're saying they can, if they can start fifty fires what, all at once with a sequence of satellites doing it's not high one bursts, it's not one laser, laser it's fifty lasers, lasers. then getting sp- that makes sense actually dude he's he's like a fourteen year old he has the brain of a child he's like no you don't understand it's not one laser it's fifty lasers it's like. Oh, okay, dude. Thanks. Why don't they do that to mainland California then? Like, they can do that there, too. How do you know they didn't? Hassan. True. You know why he didn't? I said, how do you know that they didn't? Right. Well, so one of my theories on terrorism, and I this goes out to Al-Qaeda, whatever, ISIS, whoever's listening. Uh Uh-huh. Or the Chinese. Yeah, shouts out. You could fucking destroy. You could destroy California by just getting agents in here and just starting fires all along the coast. I was like, why aren't they doing it? You know what I mean? Because it's like it's not worth it. It's incredibly difficult to pull off. You think so? Not a- I think I think like, well, I mean, I 9/11, even, yeah. right? <laughs> that was pretty difficult to pull off and they sure did it. <laughs> Microsoft 9/11. Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh some CIA assets that uh, learn how to learn how to fly a plane pretty easily, but would it be that hard though? Like honestly, if you, I mean, they, if they have the to, fire thing, they got the cells. Apparently, they got cells all over the place. Well, who says they shouldn't have cells in a beautiful Sequoia uh, National Park? That would be so sad. That's just saying. Why are you giving um, people ideas, dude? Why are you putting this? I'm an there? ideas man. I can't help it, Dan. <laughs> yeah. I would make a fantastic ISIS uh, uh, All agent. Right. All right. If I if I if I was ideologically matched. Oh my god. This guy. Well, I asked you, you said no. I know, but you, okay. okay. I guess that's what well, it's for. I buttoned. I, I saw. Yeah. Good yeah. button, I think. I made an NRA joke. Yeah. Uh, don't, you don't have to describe it. Yeah. I think well, but if I just say. Doesn't it help if you just. Re- well, if I say it was just an NRA joke, then people can use their imagination. Though. I, I don't I have to say, say it. it. I'm going to yeah, say you something. Should, I don't, they I, don't. I, I should I button that? It. No. No, it's fine. I think we're good. Do you I, want a button? No, I'm. I, I don't need a button. <laughs> for, I'm live eight to ten hours a day. I have my moments. I'm live. I I, I know, but I, I have my moments certainly. But you know, I fuck when it Dan comes Craig to Shaw, America during nine eleven. Yeah, I've had my moments. Cracker. Like you, like you know, very very public moments, right? <laughs> Heated gaming moments, whatever. But. Uh, when I'm on leftovers, I'm I'm a lot you more. You keep it tight. That's true. I keep it tight because I don't have a chat that's like constantly trying to trigger me. Right, right. Whereas, well, we like, do, but you just ours ours is more mild. You think yours is more mild? It's mostly like thirsting, and I love that. They're You're, just thirsting for you. Yeah, <laughs> I will. I will peek into the. Pathetic, I will peek bro. into the chat, the YouTube chat, and it's just like, oh my god, Hassan can you guys stop doing swooning? that? Swooning. <laughs> <laughs> can can we ban? Comments on Hassan's <laughs> physical appearance. That's crazy. You That's hate free out. speech. You, you are hate you asking me speech. to just shut off the chat? No. Well, whatever it takes. Because you, I mean, ha- you hate free speech. It's a government That's lockdown. The only way that would really All right, me. listen, Tim Pool, uh, continue with your uh, genius thesis here. Fire to, fire to spread isn't really the issue because you make the fire instantly in a bunch of different places. And they can monitor the weather in Hawaii. I mean, you could just Google that. They're, like what I was reading from the National Guardsman who was making a statement was that. You know, there's low humidity and high winds. So that's perfect conditions for wildfires to spread, which means any. Therefore, they're space poor. lasers. <laughs> well, you yeah. haven't seen the space laser video yet. You know what I love about this? I, right. They've already agreed on the space laser narrative. They're just saying, like, was it one space laser yeah. or 50? Was it that's kind of a Death argument. Star situation where it's multiple lasers combining into a super laser of some sort? Uh, that is currently the argument that they're engaging in. It's about how many lasers did they did they deploy on Hawaii? China has a Death Star. Yeah. So the laser That's conspiracy it. comes from uh, I believe six months ago there was a weather satellite that was engaging in some level some kind of like mapping. Here I'll throw it. Uh, it was a Chinese one. Yeah. There it is. Um, oh, let's take a look. A rare view of the green laser scan from space. 
Okay, let's see. Oh fuck. Dude. So so that like freaked people out. Boom, boom, boom. And they were like, fire, oh, fire, this fire. definitely is that is... coming from space? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Um, I think they were doing yeah, I think they were doing uh weather mapping. Like it's it's very like it's very open. Like yeah. they're not it's not like a hidden thing. We have and, these satellites too. So you know? I don't know. Listen, I'm not a physicist, but I would imagine creating visible light in the upper atmosphere is a lot easier than creating enough heat to start a fire on the surface of the earth from space. Can, can, yes. do we have lasers that can, are that strong in space? Uh, not on the books. Probably, we don't. probably. Not on the books, we don't. I mean, we, you know, uh, the U.S. military has done a lot of development in laser defense systems. Mostly yeah, we to got shoot down intercontinental missiles. We got um, so we definitely have lasers that can melt shit and start fires, but, uh... Dude, yeah. I think it's about time we start, you know, uh, hey, there's lots of trees in China, you know what I'm saying, America? What? No. <laughs> laser for We're laser, not. bitch. War. I, I disavow <laughs> what this counter-revolutionary saying. Lots of trees in China, Dear President leader, Xi. Dear leader Xi Jinping, I will take out this counter-revolutionary. <laughs> Do not worry. <laughs> Laser beams in outer space, <laughs> starting forest fires you in joke. China. You joke, but that's like that's America. That's like low key the average American mentality on this. They're like, oh, they definitely have lasers. They definitely use them in Hawaii, and we have to fight back by lasering them. Okay, can I ask you a Hell question? Yeah. What? They're right. Is there a chance that the Chinese actually lasered Hawaii? No. Like on a scale of like. <laughs> One to a hundred. Well, no. seeing as there is footage you know of I mean? how the fire started, and we know uh, we know what happened. We, by the way, this is like a new report what if they because shot, there's like okay. finally video evidence of it. What but if like, the Chinese shot the power line? Okay. Right. What's more likely? Uh, oh, we have a video. Capitalist, capitalist utility corporations that knew that uh, high winds were going to absolutely eviscerate their power lines and did not uh, harden their infrastructure appropriately because uh, they wanted to ensure that they did not cut out electricity to residential neighborhoods. So they put... Why does it say San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance in the top right? Is that who filmed it? Oh. Oh, no, this... I think, you know what because this is? It was is? at a bird sanctuary in Hawaii, and so that sanctuary oh. is probably part of the alliance. And don't you think it's just a little convenient that there happens to be a camera in the middle of the tropical jungle <laughs> pointing right at where... Well, that's... The, uh... uh that is pretty convenient. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's why they... That's why power they line? To, power line failure? That's why they have to find it from the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance and not, like, every uh -huh. person. And then, exactly. uh, later in the video, because the... Because dropping the uh, the laser uh, narrative for a moment, uh, basically, yeah, this transformer or something blew, and then the camera went out for a minute, and then you see it kind of resetting here, and then by the time it gets back to where it was, oh, you can fuck. see the fire back there. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Those things, yeah, because those things, they just stay buzzing, and they'll mm -hmm. just light whatever up. Yeah, so them. dry Holy vegetation shit. is also, I mean, dry vegetation is a big part of the reason. How do you think those birds fared? What? The oh, bird. don't bring up the bird. Oh. How do you think the birds did there? Dude, come on. What are you doing? Come when on. The, you know, you've seen the bird enclosure? They can't escape. It's like a giant Okay, okay. Dome. I don't All right, yeah. think about it, dude. God <laughs> damn it. I, I eat so much chicken every day, and yet I, I'm so <laughs> hypocritical. Because like. there's a huge fire next to the giant bird dome, and they're probably rare birds, too. <laughs> damn. What? Oh, God. Why are you rubbing it in? Okay, what are you doing? listen, listen. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys some additional information that Washington Post has probably not covered yet because... I had to do a little bit of a deeper dive into what was going on in Hawaii because I was covering all the conspiracy <laughs> angles. And uh, uh, sorry, can I stop you? What? The birds are not rare; they're well done. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. So what? So what happened is uh, this was even before we got footage of the actual power line falling. Um, that was the major speculation because uh, Helco, Hawaiian Electricity Corporation, which is uh, apparently not very loved, but okay. they are the utility, uh, they are the massive utility giant in Hawaii. Um, 
in 2017 was already uh, was already getting criticized for not modernizing its grid. Mm-hmm. In 2019, they got $200 million oh, to great. start modernizing their grid, mostly for uh, you know Solar Power Incorporation. But a part of that modernization also revolved around implementing revolved around implementing strategies for um, uh, you know hardening the grid. Uh, one of the things that they looked at was the uh, campfire in 2018. Mm-hmm. which was obviously the deadliest wildfire in mainland U.S. That was uh, my hometown, this- Ventura, right? That was that one. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, I the campfire was that up north? That was the one up north. Oh. The Ventura yeah. one was really bad, too, though. But, yeah, the campfire yeah. was the worst one. So ca- so campfire was the was the worst one before the, the uh, wildfires in Lahaina. And um, they knew that a big part, a major component of how wildfires start is when Power lines are downed due to either winds or due to excessive vegetation uh, that you haven't uh, maintained, that mm-hmm. you're supposed to, that you get billions of dollars from the federal government usually or the state government to, to uh, upkeep. And um, one technique that they utilized in San Diego was uh, like automatically uh, engaging in a surge protection that cuts off electricity in the, uh, I guess, 1.37 seconds that it takes for a power line to fall into the ground. Huh. Interesting, wow. Um, and uh, they they petitioned it. Like, one of these, uh, like, uh, wildlife uh, Hawaiian foundations um, actually sent a request to Helco asking them if they were utilizing the surge protection. And they were like, oh, it's just too new technology. We haven't really implemented it. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. So... Something like that would have actually prevented this wildfire from spreading or even starting if they had like uh, adequate surge protection. So, are you saying corporations are the bad guys? Is this a private owned or? or well, a, all, all uh, utilities are, are basically they're a functional monopoly, but they are privately owned and operated, hmm. usually in so America. This would have never happened in a socialist country, probably. I mean, you can always have mismanagement. It happens. It's about where the mismanagement is coming from. Is it mismanagement due to bureaucratic incompetence, or is it mismanagement due to profit-seeking, uh, you know, cost-cutting, corner-cutting measures that you're implementing when people are telling you, "Well, I know this is not profitable, but we have to harden this infrastructure because later down the line, many lives could be lost." Oftentimes with utilities, both in California, as we know, PG&E being one of the major uh, villains in California during wildfire season or in Mm -hmm. general, um, utility corporation, utility, uh, uh, utility companies will always cut corners Mm -hmm. when they are not supposed to. They will get subsidies from the federal government. They'll get subsidies from the state government. The infrastructure that they're relying on is already built by, uh, you know, local governments. And, and yet, uh, they'll, they'll take these, uh, tax breaks, subsidies, and even sometimes like, yeah, you know, yeah, direct cash infusions, and they will engage in stock buybacks and, and refuse to actually implement the safety measures that they claimed they were going to with the money. Sounds fair. I, I mean, they're going to go to jail, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Yo, what the not. fuck is that? <laughs> Yo, That's why there's no fires in, uh, That's... in Maryland. That's crazy. They actually were trying to laser Tim. All right, let's move on. Thank you. But uh, our hearts go out to the Hawaiians. It's tragic. It's horrible. And uh, God damn the Chinese, man. Steve, the Second Amendment protects your right to own nuclear weapons. (laughs) Or should I say the Chinese government, to be more specific? Because we love love the Chinese Americans, don't we, folks? I love the Chinese Americans and the government. I love both. You are a cheese, Tim. Uh, Iowa State Fair, this is a big deal in the presidential presidentiary primary. Yeah. Everybody's going to show face and show what, uh, how they can mix it up with the commoners. For example, uh, Pence, pasty Pence. <laughs> Here he is getting... That's pretty pasty, he- isn't he? Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. Here he is getting heckled by Trump supporters at the Iowa Fair. Hang my pants! Hang him! He, he is not a Christian when you say higher power! 
<laughs> yeah, that, yo, if Mike Pence isn't a Christian, then Jesus ain't a Christian. That okay, dude is Christ. I that I love Christ is shit. I love the angle of attack here of being like, I'm a Trump supporter, and you, Mike Pence, are no real Christian. Trump is. That's right. <laughs> like, what's happening there so in obvious. your mind? It's awesome. Believers, Pence, you are far from a Christian. Far from a Hang him. Don't call him a fat Pence. You can't do it. That guy, Drake. So, so there you go. This lady's name is Barbara, which I love because I always so automatically fitting. assign the name Barbara or Deborah to ladies like that. Yeah. She's wearing a back to back Iowa caucus or back to back Iowa champions hat, which is really interesting. That's what they, the Trump supporters were giving out. That's what the Trump team was handing out. And I find that particularly interesting because Trump lost Iowa to Ted Cruz. <laughs> really? That's so, pretty rough. So I, I guess he means like in the general. In the general? Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This guy is not wearing Grateful Dead. I'm sorry. You can't be you can't be at the Iowa Fair. He's wearing an Iowa City Yacht Club Grateful Dead merch. Dude, that is <laughs> that is not what they were about, man. Jerry's Wait, rolling in his grave right now. How many yachts are in Iowa? <laughs> um, at isn't least Iowa, one. Iowa landlocked. At least one. Probably I mean, I guess lakes. there's lakes. <laughs> yeah, you buy coastal elitists. You think they can't yacht in lakes? I guess they can. I take it back. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, 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 what did he say? He's saying I'm glad they, I'm glad they didn't hang you. That's that's the. Oh, people actually say that. I was kidding. Hold no, on. no, that's the that's the most vocal yeah, yeah. Mike Pence supporter. Yeah, no, he this is this is him getting a little bit of love. Yeah, that's you the, know that's the biggest praise he can get. He's I'm just glad quietly, you weren't murdered. Yeah, he <laughs> quietly really... said, yeah, you know, I I was in favor of it, but I realized I, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I can really see uh, Jerry Garcia calling for the hanging of public officials. It's right on that message for them. Yeah, Come I mean, on. take that shirt off, dude. I don't you. think I don't think that guy is like a deadhead. I, I think he just probably bought the merch. You think so? Yeah. He's like, I got a yacht. Maybe you're right. No, I got no, a no. pawn too. They probably just ripped that from the internet and fucking ran yeah. it. Shame on them. So uh, they're glad that Mike Pence did not get hanged uh, by the crowd. So that's prog. I think that's progress. I think that's good for his campaign. He's they're not really, dead. They're really warming up for him. To him. Uh, DeSantis was down there actually, um, yeah, on the bumper cards no, uh, bumper cards no less, uh, very exciting, very down to earth. Wait, I didn't see this. Oh my God. Yeah. A rare DeSantis moment. He, he escaped. You know what he's doing here? He's pretending he's on a border, uh, street, just taking out immigrant Migrants. families right. running across the border. Dude, you know... He is very cartoonish in the way that his like face moves, right? Like he always gets like yeah. ah, <laughs> like he'll do that. And I think that there's nothing more cartoony than getting on a fucking bumper car. So I guess he's not beating the Looney Tune allegations, but he's also just leaning into it, kind of. <laughs> well, let's this see. Is a new Ron. Let's see. Let's see how darn to earth is he. So, so an important detail about this video I should point out is that they shut down the ride, I guess, probably for security concerns. So it's just <laughs> him and his wife with a crowd of people. That's so down to earth. There's something so funny about Excuse just driving me, around sir. a bumper car thing by yourself. I'm not comfortable with all the like all cities, <laughs> with all them <laughs> country boys out like here all the, bumpers with me. All the little kids are just like watching and crying. They're like, why yeah. can't I play? <laughs> And Ron's like, it's my time. <laughs> God, he's such a freak. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Iowa Fair. Yeah. Yeah. You got to put that yabba dabba do ass Look how excited play. his daughter is. She hasn't hung out with her dad like this in a... Like the footsteps. Should I cut that? <laughs> we love him. We love the kids, don't we? Yo, look at him go! Ooh, they bumped! Do you see that? He smiled. Here he comes! Here he comes! This is oh, so oh, awesome! Oh, oh. 
He's having so much fun. It's so uncomfortable to just like do this without all these, without any of the other cars around and all these people are watching you. It's a death match, bro, 1v1. And just cameras recording. No, yeah. Yo, God, by I the way, him. he is destroying his wife. Like, he is absolutely- She is terrible at bumper yeah, cars. What is she doing? He's taking her to the mats with this, man. Look. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so there it is. Very down to earth. And uh, that's Governor DeSantis. That's nowhere photo. near as bad. I've seen uh, I've seen way worse photos. I posted one on my Instagram. Like, there's, there's a lot of really horrible photos of him. He always, like, stands so awkwardly with his hands, like, planted to his side. It's, it's, it's dope. Oh, uh, so he's got some new boots. He's got new boots. The yeah, you remember the famous? Yeah, he's uh, new boots yeah. goofing. He's back. He's in cowboy boots now. Let yeah, see. he's a he's cowboy in it. You know, like in Florida. <laughs> do, is that a Florida thing? That's not really a Florida thing, is it? They're cowboy like boots, brother. Walkers. It's it's whatever you want it to be. Okay? My boy needs yeah. some good old swamp walkers. For it it doesn't even matter. Like these guys, they. I mean, Ron DeSantis is like. Didn't you go to fucking Harvard, Harvard and, and Yale, I think? Like, mm -hmm. We used they, to put on cowboy boots, rock around the campus yeah, of Harvard. Yeah, it's all fake. So did Ted Cruz, you know? It's all fake. It's just like, yeah, look at me. I'm so rugged, down to earth. And you see uh, how the, awful and not- What? <laughs> he cannot be serious right no, now. No, that's this not This man real. is sitting there in a suit with cowboy boots? <laughs> that's not real. Did this really happen? I just saw it right before the show, so, uh... This is even worse, potentially, than the white boots. <laughs> well... That's insane. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you show up to a meeting unironically like this? I'm, I'm I need, trying to find what this- check. I'm trying to find what it's from right now. What a fucking weirdo, <laughs> man. Here he is, here's Ron DeSantis, uh, ch chanting... Walk through a crowd chanting, we love Trump, we want Trump. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Let's see. Santi Pie, Santi Claus. Yeah, they love you, man. It's going great for you. Yeah, nobody's even shaking his hand, bro. He's trying to shake hands. Nobody wants to have anything to do with him. Look at him. It's gotta. It's weird. Look at him. He's trying to. He's forcing people. He literally grabbed that guy's hand in the red. It's so weird. It's gotta be weird. Look at this. He's like, give me a handshake, go motherfucker. Through this crowd. <laughs> Holy shit, man. You are ruined, dude. Ay, ay, ay. It's... Listen, I, uh... I don't think he's gonna do well in Iowa. <laughs> Not looking good. I wanna no. see, did this man put out his hand or did DeSantis grab it? It takes place behind his wife. But... Once again, I don't. DeSantis... <sighs> that guy's hand is fully down. Yeah, you could see his. Yeah, yeah. It, here it is. Yeah, okay? and I think that's the hand he shakes. He's not interested at all. Now here it comes. Here he comes. Okay, he's like, yo, 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 yo. This is DeSantis's hand. Yeah, reaching, like fist bumping. Should I like trying to fist bump him? Maybe someone else well, in the crowd. Keep going. Yeah. No, they they did a really weird shake. Cause he did, and he's like, "Thanks, bro." He's like, "I don't, I don't care about you." Oh no, he went hey, up for a, on his shoulder. No, he went up for a handshake. He wasn't he even looking it, at so him. He did a shoulder. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's it. He's not even looking at DeSantis. He's like, "Why are you touching so me, bro?" Lame. It's awesome. He's the best. And he oh, folks. that's the one. Yup, I love that dude. This is powerful. When you nut and she keeps sucking. <laughs> Please clap. This is oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Stop it. And finally, Who's getting uh, the best head right now. <laughs> finally, uh, the dark horse Vivek Ramaswamy is rapping, which is, I mean, you know, down to earth oh, as it gets. Uh, he's in second now, I believe. Oh, and he's crazy. He's not quite in second, but he's uh, rising as DeSantis falls and will likely pass him. At this man point. is a loony tune. He is. Uh, I would say he's more, he is like the Andrew Yang style candidate, and I'm not saying that because they're both Asian. What? Um, I didn't even think that, bro. Why would you even bring that up? Uh, well, I'm going to bring a part of that up in a second. Um, like why that's relevant, especially in the Republican primary in a brief moment. But um, 
he is very like he knows what messaging to try uh, he knows what messaging will work uh he's really hitting the high notes like he was a big like anti-woke warrior you know culture warrior early on as i've told you guys before he uh he he was working on finding a cure for cancer but then his uh during the george floyd protest like his company was like we love black lives matter so he was like oh no my company's gone woke I no longer want to find the cure to cancer. So we quit. <laughs> you think he could have? The, what? You think he was right there? Fuck no. Yeah. So he quit finding the cure to cancer and instead went and, uh, you know, decided to, I guess, invest in companies that are not woke and then wrote a book about it, right? Yep. Is that woke his book? Inc. Yeah, this is his book. Yeah, he was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fund non-woke companies. He's such a weird character. I mean, he's super smart. Super, yeah. super smart, super savvy businessman, but he is a weird motherfucker. I think he would come on this show. I've weird. tried. We've tried reaching out, haven't we, Olivia? Uh, Olivia did reach out uh, last week. Uh, I don't think we've heard back. We're, Why I'm is trying. Vivek Ramaswamy afraid of having a logical conversation? Maybe he did. Uh, I shouldn't speak for her. She's, uh, I think, taking care of Kaya well, right now. I'll, so. I'll, I'll continue. We'll continue to press him to, to come on the show. I, I, I ironically... I think we could have a really interesting conversation with him. Yeah, I mean, he he also had like a big own when he talked to like a pansexual uh, person at the Iowa State Fair. Really? They found the <laughs> the one pansexual in Iowa <laughs> went <laughs> went, went to the fair. <laughs> what did he tell them? Um, she was like, "What do you think about like uh, you know what's your policies on gender and, and sexuality, LGBT?" And he hit like the. Dumbest talking point, but everyone on the Republican side was glazing him, saying like, oh my god, he's so brilliant. Um, this part is really funny, actually, so let's just watch that. This is, then, unironically looks way cooler. Don't you have those? I feel like No, I don't have would, the croc ones. I have the red ones, the original ones. I feel like you would get the croc <laughs> ones. I wish I had the croc ones. I, I didn't get them. Aren't they hard to put on? The red ones, extremely hard to put on, extremely uncomfortable. Very, very, very... Uh, Stupid. Right. Not a day to day. Yeah. Not a day to day. Right. I think it's cool as an art project. Like we just we have it up as a decor as a decorative art piece. Uh, here, uh, what did you want me to watch? Let's watch yeah. this and then we'll talk about his ownage. Loud. Bro, you are not doing Eminem right now. Sure is. Yes, he is, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Are we gonna get claimed? Did we check this? Uh, yeah, it didn't get claimed. I mean, it. I don't want to say 100%. I think if we just watch a second of it. Because he's... Now. Everybody's joking now. You're mostly just hearing his now. voice. Time's up. Oh, oh, wow. Step back to reality. So he didn't even rewrite the lyrics. No, he's no. just performing Lose Yourself. No, he, he's, he's hitting the notes. He's the greatest white boy to ever do it. <laughs> That's crazy. God did. What? Apparently, apparently he used to rap in college, too. I know that. I know that about him. But he used to like freestyle or do his own raps. I don't understand why he's coming and performing Eminem. This is his favorite. There is a video of him in college performing this song. Uh, I think this is just kind of like, this is his go-to karaoke song, basically. Okay. Yeah. Oh, goes gravity. Oh, goes gravity. Choke. He's so mad. This is swag. Rizzed up. I can't watch this. This is harder to watch than I just can't, love, can't I love through. thinking about like an Iowa farmer, okay, who's just there. Just absolute Trump supporter, two terms, still thinks Trump is the president, okay? Sitting there watching a brown man sing, M like, rap out Eminem and being like, yeah, this is, is going to do it for me. I think I'm voting for this Vivek fella. <laughs> it's working Meanwhile, somehow. He's, he's going up in the polls. He is going up in the polls because he is actually, like you said, very smart. Um, I think he, he knows, he's got strong rhetoric, he's definitely more charismatic than Ronald, uh, McDonald DeSantis, and, um, however, at the end of the day, no matter how well you can debate, if you are, uh, a brown man running in the Republican primaries, there is a very active base of support within the Republican constituency that looks at you and goes... Oh, no way. That's uh, either a terrorist or <laughs> no way. He worships cows. I am not voting for that. That is anti-Christian. That is literally satanic. Well, they're right on oh. one count. He is a terrorist, just to Eminem's music. Well, he, 
well, he's a terrorist in the sense that every Republican is, in my opinion. They're way more successful at doing acts of terror than than ISIS or Al Qaeda ever could be. But so we have actually breaking live news right now. Lindell is dropping his truth uh, bomb. Should we pull that up? Do you think, or should we wa let's watch this video? I don't want to miss it. Huh? Uh, should we pull up Mike Lindell's uh, truth? So I just listened in. Uh, I was watching. They have a big counter on stage, and um, it got to. It got to zero, but this guy isn't done doing his ad yet, so they're letting him finish <laughs> up. All right, let me, let's watch this. It looks like he's wrapping up now. Let's watch Vivek own watch this pants. How many people are watching? Uh, well, here on YouTube, we have 6,000. No, And he's also so simulcasting so on Rumble, frankspeech.com, uh, and uh, a few other places. This man spent his last dollars, fuck it. Yeah, really. he's, uh, you see, lindelloffensefund.com. Dot org. He needs money. He's desperately. I, 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 he's stopped between pretty much every segment. He's, so he's ran out he of staplers money. and office paper. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. All right. So here's Vivek owning. I don't know. Should we watch that? Is he about to? We maybe we should watch. I mean, that. it's I'll happening right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it. Like up, he it. just. He's, yeah. Here he is. You are. You are the. You are, are, the, you are the biggest Michael Nelson. Hello to everyone watching from around. Hell yeah, I am. Should we set up real quick? Wait, he's promoing my pillow. Hold on. Eighty-five languages. Hold on. Just full screen it. And Would you like me to set this up real quick for the audience? And I just he's proven the election was stolen. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, actually, he's not proving that the election is stolen. He's revealing a plan given to him by God uh, of how to save our elections in this country. Oh, so he's given up trying to. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Exciting. Here it is. Here's the plan. That they can spread the word. That they can spread the word. Can you look full screen? This is the answer. Yeah. This is the hope we've been waiting for, Jesus. We pray that every part that people understand that people this realize doesn't end well, man. He's that, gonna. Hey, we have to have <laughs> Mike secure be like elections. This. We pray. We pray we that have God. To have, we have to. Hit in the if crack we don't pipe. have elections, thank we have you. nothing. It's over. And Lord, we thank you. I thank you, Lord, for every part of this, for every, per for every person <laughs> that's been part of this, for every person oh, that, is, that is that is uh, in our country. I pray How for every single person in our country that they can be told that hey, we have this we have a plan that's going to secure our elections, our sacred Empire. elections. How much money did Michael Pillow make? He was saying. worth like two hundred million dollars at a point. Jesus Christ! Okay, we got a little bit of setup for us, there's Jeff. What the fuck? Oh my today? God! Still, is the here's the plan. The plan's on that laptop. It's all happening right now. At the plan's Link. coming down the HDMI cable right now at frankspeech.com. My and get twenty percent off my pillow. <laughs> Race at, Santa Claus coming in. I'm actually in. impressed. This has six thousand people watching it. To be honest. I thought well, it'd be like a thousand. Well, how many are on Frank's? Bro, that is crazy. Oh, no, man. like right side broadcasting at oh, wait, peak of ready? like at the peak of Trump's popularity, <laughs> these guys would get like 50k no matter what. Damn. You know what I mean? Falling off. Just give me a sign Help. Yeah, I, I think Mike is doing like a sunk cost okay, fallacy cool. at this point right, because um, he's in like 150 million. I've been telling you all, we've been told a lie. <laughs> over over years now. Go on. That the machines are not on the internet. Huh? If all, if anybody just watching <laughs> that just tuned in now to FrankSpeech.com. The machines aren't on the internet. <laughs> or any of the other networks that are running this. And uh, all or the any of the 85 we, morning, languages. We went over the biggest lie we've been told that's blocked all of our cyber evidence and everything. I, I'm We're so privileged to be internet. watching this We're live right now. We're not on the internet. We're not on the internet. We're not on the internet. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, there's nothing to see here. We're not on the internet. The it's fuck? Down. We have been told about? this by every. <laughs> oh, there's the audio went out. No. no. No, not now, Mike. No. Oh, there. No. It's the deep state. Okay, it's the, it's the deep state. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's true. Oh, he's back. Back. <laughs> oh, okay. Get us through this, Jesus. Man, It'll your faith Jimmy in God came and get you through a damn right? live stream. Brother, that was okay. proof that the CIA is actually this after him. I'm convinced. Every person in our country. It's also been told around the world to their countries. These electronic voting machines from routers to printers wait, wait, wait. to polling books to, to uh, the computers, this they're not online. What ha was it? Isn't he like gagged? Well, what if he's I just told got, you? Yeah, he's what being made for a lot of money. That there Dominion, is a right? I believe so. And they already maybe smart semantic or maybe both. I forget. Well, this is going to play well for him in court. That that machine was online. 
Yo, 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 get up okay. to a $1,000, you know, $10,000 of precious metals we'll for free, you guys. I love precious metals. <laughs> With a qualifying purchase. And then you have to have passwords and so on. I've never seen that. That's how. If you that's, had one of those really internets, and they, I mean, you went up to a device that showed you, it's a hey, good deal. there's a device on my network. There's Text RSBN to 298-9988. What the device was, oh, where God. it was at, what the name of it was. Mike, yes, what is the plan? And you knew the second He's still we talking about the old shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And this, well, this is day is two of his conference. Yesterday, it was you, over 12 hours. I actually don't even know how long it went because even uh, right, this this channel, hours? they cut it off after 12 hours. It I only ended. I only get still my Mike Lindell information from you guys. I, I don't even follow him that close. He's my fave. Yeah, Ian, can you We're do gonna, me a favor? Okay, so Just yeah, zoom in sure. on the pet of Santa Claus. In Florida, um, <laughs> with this device, we went in and we uh, we did a. We, Jeff will show you the mm -hmm. one. Show the clicker. You get a clicker. I think okay. they have it. Hopefully, they have it uh, okay. ready to go. Okay, we got clickers. Oh, oh. is this it? This okay. is it. Do you guys in the back? Do you? It's have not working. The, He's smiling because he the, knows it's all fucked. Up there. Uh, the click that we're having yeah. clicker issues. I have to be so bad. I'm holding it in for this because I need to see the first moment of. I want. I think you might be waiting a long time. No, this, this is how this. The Can election crime bureau is proud to introduce the WMD <laughs> or wireless monitoring device. Okay. Wait, it's a TTS sound. The wireless yeah. monitoring device is a sophisticated network connection monitoring system designed specifically with, with election security in mind. <laughs> this is. We this have is been the point. I don't even know what I'm watching. Computers Wait. are never connected to the internet. He's calling it a WMD. The WMD will put yep. that to the test like a, like a by weapon detecting of and reporting Fucking in real way. time Wi-Fi connections in county and state election offices. What is this? All internet routers and access points <laughs> will be reported okay, this as well as any devices to which they connect. Bro, they didn't even get a the they didn't even get a slow mo camera for that. Many years of research and state of the art development. What? It is a low weight is that a CNC machine? device that uses only passive signal Wait, detection to detect online systems, what, what, and it will never oh, okay, interfere so with any only normal one. network operations. When an online connection is detected, the Election Crime Bureau Master Alert <laughs> System will be quickly notified, and the alert will be displayed on the alert web page. <laughs> <laughs> a gif of a fucking red alert. Oh god, that they bombed that. Oh, they're dropping WMDs. What the fuck, dude? These boxes display the information about the access points at the top and the wireless clients at the bottom box. What? Wait. I don't know what is happening. He, it, it looks like he built an improvised explosive device <laughs> and he's going to blow every, it looks like he's going to blow up every poll in the can make that, analyzing the map difficult. So this is he unveiling his Dr. Evil plan? Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, if, you're, if your 65 year old aunt who's like a poll no, worker uh, accessed Facebook during the, <laughs> during the counting process, we will kill her with this, yeah. <laughs> with this explosive device. Those types of devices are removed from the map. And it will make Clicking a big mushroom cloud like Oppenheimer. On the map displays additional information about the device in the bottom information so he, window. So he's telling, Currently, he wants people to the bring address, some kind of spy vendor, device into polling stations. The <laughs> and then <laughs> if they if they sense the, the internet connection, they basically just sniff Wi-Fi access points. That's for sure illegal, especially in a It's probably illegal, and it's probably just a scheme for him to sell this thing to his rube followers. You know? Okay. Okay. So he's. No, nah, no, nah, this is this is a madman. Okay, this is a man who's like hallucinating. Cause like everybody needs a pillow, dog. Like people need a pillow. You need to. You, you're gonna go to sleep. You want a pillow. You need a pillow. That's a that's a product that like you can sell. This is a product with an incredibly niche audience. Let me tell you, everybody. Turn it up. We now can catch them in a lie. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, they're stoked. They're not. The camera's not on him. Everybody's there, there watching from home, going, "Well, you could have made that video, right?" This Making he brought this day out, right? dude. Well, how would you like to see a demo oh, right guys, here? Oh, guys, hold on, room? Mike, stop there. Locals, rsbn.locals.com, guys. Uh, hold that thought, Mike. Okay. Exclusive content, 24/7 interactive outside? live chat. Like-minded community, should, and also said. behind the scenes on okay, Rumble, hit the well, join button. It's a fucking back, video. How are they going to hit the join button? Wait, wait. 
They're gonna. This is they're coming testing at you it. right now, everybody. No, it's actually on a drone. Oh, 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 let's go! Oh no. God! Oh, it's a video. Okay, okay. Oh, damn okay, it! Yeah, I thought it. they were flying the drone. In. Okay, 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 okay. Here it is. Flying this drone into an active polling location. Yeah, this is this. <laughs> in the front door. In the front door. Wait. So they think that they're gonna do this? <laughs> yeah. Every polling location. That's it. I know, Wait. I know drones can do that. No, it died out. No, I think it, they lost connection. No, no. Here it comes. So is this Who's not? Flying in? Oh my God. Here it comes. No, I think oh, that was it. No, no, it's, no, it's, it's coming. flying in. It's it's literally flying. Ethan, it's flying in. <laughs> no! Oh my God. It can fly. Special delivery, everybody. Oh Special delivery. He said we're gonna we're gonna deploy these WMDs in polling stations with drones. <laughs> Frankly, I think the idea of just going f like full ISIS bombing them is makes more sense than whatever this is. <laughs> well, I just don't. Here's what I don't understand. Which I don't condone or recommend. Yeah, I have no. nothing to do with it. Yeah. Here's what I don't Probably understand. Who has enough money to purchase this equipment or the technical know-how to like deploy it? By you, the way, under I that thing, I still don't understand really what it is. Black thing where we're, before that with uh, device. remove the drone, please. But Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> this device. Mike. Mike. This device. The mic, Mike. I'm so excited I forget to use a mic. Right? Yeah, you're killing it. <laughs> you guys. This device, as it flew into the building, guys, listen. he's such a show. This wireless monitoring device, it just grabbed all of your cell phones, everybody in this room, what? every device that's, that's on for the sure internet illegal. right now. And let's see, can you put it up on the big screen? Wait, no, he's, <laughs> he's not going to say that. He's like. I have just stole all of your credit card numbers. Now what this does, when this <laughs> gathers information, I'm going to put them up on the screen right center. now. Why is this I'm legal? Say it's what for sure it's a thousand percent not that. illegal to scrape. But there's a command center where this information data like that. goes down. It flashes. It'll go. Uh, um, Santa's um, getting worried. Online, just turned his just phone went off. Online in, in, in Missouri, right? It goes there. It comes back. And, it, and now here's what just came in. As we came into the building here, you see all the cell phones there. All the comp okay. computers. And this helps how? Uh, we've got uh, Bro, all that these is a, things up there. This like is seen, highly illegal. Yeah. In, uh, so you cannot have a... Now, this is... This is now, can you, you take... Like, like people okay, who are, up a like, bit. hackers so and shit. There, like, this is... It's sniffing networks in a vicinity. In its vicinity. That's like... Cell phones, other, even... And this. Now, I still don't understand the point of this, frankly. What the fuck? Okay, so you got everybody's... This is what we would be doing... This is as it goes through this filter. Imagine He's it's going election, to be arrested after election this. night. Now we, we already imagine filtered doing this out. We were night. showing you that there's no device in the world that does what this does. Okay, <laughs> it does it. It gets cap, It's passively captured. But it's now it's going to tell you which device. So he just took out all the cell phones. Depending on what level okay. of information now it can capture, it could either be illegal out. or it could be just basically like one big telephone that can see every Wi-Fi. Like yeah. just you, a Wi-Fi network. Yeah, like it can be. <laughs> but cell phones don't. Okay. Okay. No, okay. your cell phone can pick up. You can your cell phone can pick up like all the Wi-Fi access points though no, in a in sure in an area. He's saying he's picking up cell phones. Now we have Hold on, let me hear what the point is. We didn't want to take the chance. We could have got. Some machines I in here, some actual Go election voting oh, machines. Oh, weird. We had them. We were we had access. What but is you that, know that what? Shape. You see what happened the, the, in the, Michigan yeah, where they went the after Matt to yeah, the for having a machine, yeah. right? I didn't want to take that chance. This is too important shape, to the exactly. world. Okay, I'm telling you what we can do now. If you're in a room and you're here in uh, Springfield, Missouri, and you're in this room and this is an election room. Beep, beep, beep. The router just went online. This red alert beep, goes out beep, there. Beep. Red alert. And boom. And I'll tell you in a minute how okay, you're going to know I think in I'm real gathering. time. Okay. He, he's very hung but up can, on... Uh, they, on the voting machines being connected to the internet, and that's how they, they log in and, and change all of the votes. And so he wants, I'm suspecting, his followers to buy this drone from him. Fly it into voting. Fly it into, I don't know why the drone is necessary, to be quite honest. Sick. Like, couldn't you, you could just walk in with it's it, right? Dope. Yeah, but it's dope. So fly a drone into a voting, into an active voting place, and 
sniff the Wi-Fi access points to see if the voting machine is on the Wi-Fi, I think? Uh, okay, I got a list. That's, that's I the best guess I have. I, I don't get it. Mississippi, Kentucky, you have local elections. Anyone that has this, I mean, everyone that has an election. I don't and if we don't get it, these yokies in the audience aren't going to get it. You got yeah, I've been device, watching... Uh, and you know what? Been e watching e the God to told him to do this. You lied to me. <laughs> And uh, so what? So, so Jeff, I want you to explain. Uh, <laughs> okay. And then you, cutting uh, to the giant. Well, yo, 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 Mike, hold on, hold so on, hold on. Mike, stop that thought. Up to sixty uh, percent off everything. Use the promo code RSBN. Sixty-six percent off everything. Oh shit! My bad. Everything must go. Like really. Did you pause it? Really got it. Yeah, I paused it. Why would you do that? Yeah, it will show the IP address. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to cut away. What's called a MAC address, which is like the hardware uh, identification of it. And we'll also show what it's named on the internet. Uh, so which, we'll, we'll, will we know the brand? Yeah. They've been, we'll it, know yeah, the brand. Yeah, we, we will actually. But he said it does sniff IPs. Yes, yes. Uh, that and, and I know noticed that. too. We that surely tablets. can't be illegal. Uh, polling will, books, it doesn't know, matter. Polling books. It will know exactly. Uh, we can identify. And remember now, so let's so say you're So there is a statute here. All, it says the federal wiretap right? statute prohibits you know, sniffing of contents of communication by a device unless the contents are readily accessed to the general public. Yeah. It, depending on, that's why I said depending on what level of information it, it says can they, pick it pulls up. their IP. Yeah, I don't think that's, no, I don't think that's legal. No shot. <laughs> What? This is so no. If you can see, like, nuts. if you can, if you can be in an area and like your phone picks up, you know, wireless uh, access points, that's one thing. Right. Or like printers, for example, or computers that is like uh, accessible via your phone. That's one thing. If it's like looking at, I think the IP is. I don't think that's public in most cases. Well, I, I kind of just wanted to, if you don't mind, uh, point out one of the exciting things about this. I just need to tell everyone here that I am on a sex offenders list. Now that, that we've got that out of the way. It lets <laughs> us know when devices, when new devices come online. Yeah. Uh, and, and, real we, time. and real it's time. real time crime. And, and this right. thing can even send out text messages real -time crime. to people saying, hey, I mean, a new, a new I don't know. access I, I'm point leaning more or a new on, printer it's just came the online. And so the more I think about it, uh, the Rift is just like selling this product. I yeah, no, I agree. That's selling that's the, the product because they're so incompetent. I doubt that they're capable of like crafting and and uh, selling a device that legitimately is like uh, stealing information from all the networks in the vicinity. Tablet online. Shut her down, right? Yeah, and uh, the so IP is thing is, is yeah, not that big of a deal either. Somebody in the chat said it's basically this thing called a Wi-Fi pineapple, um, which, from what I understand, is legal. It does have some features that would be illegal, but it just depends on how it's utilized, basically. I'm not sure what they have in, in store here. So it might not be illegal, but... I think dr flying a drone into a polling place probably is illegal. That's yeah, there's that's that's regulated actually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that seems not. And imagine correct. a boomer behind the controls of that thing slicing into people and shit. <laughs> All right, Mike, what are you saying? One alert. This is a red alert. The, a red alert, okay? okay? That the machines went online, right? So if you're a clerk or if you're all of us now, all of you at home, you don't want to know this too, right? Well, we've had whistleblower sites who've had, just like I told you, I think yesterday or today, when Carrie Lake's the race was going on and all those machines broke there, they said they were broke down in Missouri. I mean, in uh, Arizona. He's just riffing, I think. I'm looking at Kansas going, people are sending me texts going, Mike, they're, these votes are going from Democrats to Republicans, you know? I mean, you know, the Uniparty party member. Okay, he's back to the same shit. Yeah, it's, it's, okay, back, now he's okay. playing the same well, old bullshit, like the highlights. Yeah. I, was getting, I think we got all the All right, thank you, Mike. Okay. LindellOffenseFund.org for everybody that wants to support. And the Election Crime Bureau. I love that this guy is so broke that he has hired, like, he, he, he does not have a graphics designer. He, he's going to his, like, 14. Whoa. Oh, whoa. What's going on? Holy shit. Yo, Ladies get, and gentlemen, that sniffer out of this here. is this is not an election station, and yet for some reason, the Michael Lindell drone is sniffing our packets. It's it, stealing our IPs, folks. What is happening? Oh, oh my God! It's, oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Okay. Shoot it, right. dead, Dan! Whoa. Damn, thank you, Dan. Wow, that was scary. It almost got my IP address. That it was a close call. almost sniff your packet season. It'll sniff your packets, and then it'll sniff your asshole. Send me both. I mean, I guess it's, like, cool that the grift is uh, advanced from just, like, selling you iodine pills. <laughs> <laughs> right. To selling you a very expensive drone hey. and, a, and a Wi-Fi pineapple, you guys were saying? Uh, uh, yeah. The, uh, I don't know if it's exactly that, if they just made their own or what, but somebody in the chat said it. they think that's what it is, and I looked it up, and it seems like it's just kind of like a general device that can do a lot of does network this, stuff. Does this man have children? It's going to reveal the plan that will save our election platforms immediately. He's God's child. Something that's never been done before the lion. in history. I know, I love and that the imagery. Or even talked about for that matter. Everyone, whether you're Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative. Either if you're a Republican wow, or he's Democrat. Trying to, <laughs> he's trying to farm the Democrats. I'm a Democratic Michael Lindell supporter. Ask me anything. <laughs> we have amazing lineup. Check out, check it out. General Flynn. Oh, this, Laura, Rudy, 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 okay, Rudy this Giuliani. is an amazing lineup. This is actually an amazing lineup because this is like basic. First of, all, first of all, a good healthy third of these people are currently indicted. Okay. Right. Like, I just want to point that out really quickly. Uh, the other half is uh, absolutely under civil litigation. They are being sued successfully by the likes of Dominion and, and others. Do you want to donate? <sighs> I definitely don't want to donate it to It says them. Lindell Legal Offense Fund, Inc. is not a charitable organization. Wait, what were those <laughs> quantities? Yeah, you want to donate $50,000? Yeah. I mean, if that's Why all the that option I have. suggested? This is not a charitable organization. <laughs> I'm glad they These have... These are not tax deductible. I'm glad that they have the $50,000, like, you know, clickable button, because it's like, I'm always trying to get that conveniently. I don't yeah. want to type in all I'm always trying to donate $50,000 to the click of a button. I want to go to other. That button. I mean, how many, that's six digits, seven if you include the comma, fuck that. Do you, do you think that that is like, they can accidentally get a boomer to misclick and then just like farm him? Definitely, yeah. It's fraud, but. We're gonna send a sniffer. So, wow, that was, that was beautiful. Um, Carbon monoxide. That that lineup that you saw, the Michael Linda lineup that you saw earlier, if we can go back to that. I don't know if you Sure, yeah, I can pull it back up. Um, that is basically Trump's last line of defense. Some of which right. are his co defendants, <laughs> uh, which is not good because they are going to turn on him, in my opinion. Didn't look um, well. Rudy's for example, working. there is uh, currently some drama going on with one of the co defendants in the Rico uh, case in Georgia, Jenna Ellis, who Swap size went from Donald Trump to Ron DeSantis. He's been a DeSantis loyalist for some time now. And Laura Loomer, who you can see right next to Steve Bannon. Laura Loomer, of course, is a big-time Trump loyalist. Uh, was at the Bedminster Golf Course recently. Took some photos with Donald Trump. Really funny ones. But um, she has been ripping into Jenna Ellis because Jenna Ellis is asking for money, begging for money on the timeline, for her legal defense, because a lot of the co-defendants that uh, that they nabbed alongside Trump in many of these cases, both in federal and also in Georgia state court, they do not have money. And Trump is not defending them. He's not giving them money for their legal counsel, which makes the situation extra funny because like then they're absolutely going to flip on him. Right. I think so, yeah. They're all, I mean, why would any of them fall on the sword for him? I don't no, know. No, Rudy no. Giuliani is another guy. Rudy's, he doesn't give a fuck about anyone but those big tits coming over here. Yeah. Big tits. Yeah, big tits. Um, Let me see those. Here's a definitely, Wait. this is definitely edited. This okay, is definitely right. yeah. not a real photo of Donald That's Trump. That's a unit, man. That's not. Pull, go up. Who posted this? Huh? Who posted this? I don't know, some random account. Is this the bottom half of this image is AI generated? Is it? That's what it says on the fact check. Here, here's the uh, here. Laura posted this. This is the original image. 
It is. So that part is tr is real. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, that's. Funny. I think Laura Loomer cut the image out. Is she. You think she cropped it? I think she cropped it. You think this is real? I don't Trump know. didn't look well. I mean, I. That's I've not a seen, real body. I, look, I've seen Trump's dumpy so many times. <laughs> I I miss it. I don't know what it looks like nowadays. Oh, he actually oh. looks slimmer than I thought. Yeah, no, no, no. It is him. It, it is edited. Okay. So yeah. is that one edited? He looks really slim there. Yeah, he's he's been he's been getting looks thinner great. and thinner. Looks hot. So wait, do you think extremely wet? His torso looks really small. You think they edited this one? No. Uh, that is called being fat and pulling your your belt all the way up your belly <laughs> so you can hide how big your belly well, actually listen, is. I, I I listen as a fat guy, former fat guy. Yeah, you're Ethan now. Own it. Just Ethan. I used to try and do that. That looks good. He looks good. I used good. to try and do that all the time back in the day. Except the problem is you have to wear a jacket over it because otherwise you just you you ain't fooling nobody. Like no one's looking at you and going, "Wow!" Like <laughs> I genuinely am looking at him and thinking he looks pretty good. No, no, he has lost weight for okay, sure. Good for you. Good for you, Mr. President. Oh God, Laura stressed. Loomer. I do effort posting on Twitter is so yeah, silly. Who's reading this? Look at this. There's, I mean, how many likes does it have? It's with Trump. It's probably a banger. Nobody, read, okay. it. Nobody uh -huh. read this, though. No, no. They yeah. liked it for the picture. Yeah, she, right, is, so. she is like ripping into... So she's ripping into Jenna Ellis and other people that are like no longer on the Trump camp. Rhinos. Um, yeah, they're rhinos. They're fake. They're phony. What do you think he's pointing to? Like, what's out there? <laughs> I don't... Maybe his wife, his <laughs> dead There's wife... grave. You know, the dead grave, <laughs> her, her grave there. is further down the line. You can't find it because it's covered in shrubbery now. <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> it's, my, it's my favorite game. We play hole in one on that bitch's grave. I buried her. I buried her like she tried to bury me in litigation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to Vivek. Uh, Benny Johnson. So, uh, ben, or Vivek owned a pansexual person. Yes. Benny Johnson, of course, who is the... But it wasn't even an ownage. Well, quote, unquote, on. But <laughs> and this the quote, Benny... unquote, is also around pansexual, like it's fake. <laughs> Benny, you're gay. I didn't want to say <laughs> Why that. are you... I will say it. Not only is he gay, everybody knows he's gay. Like, it's like a known thing in conservative circles that I've said time and time again, Benny Johnson is not allowed to go on trips... By himself without his wife present any longer you okay? because he fucks dudes on the side. Is he the allegedly. one that had the gay cruise ad? Yeah, he's the one who also had the gay cruise ad on and the military I'm website. Really, he's like, why are they I showing no me idea. gay cruise ads on military.com? So anyway, Benny posted this. Let's take a look. What were your opinions on the LGBT community? Well, I don't think it's one community. Really? Yeah. I mean, how could it be? You just mash together an alphabet soup. Trans is fundamentally in tension with gay, if you ask me. But what's your opinion? <laughs> Wait, first pause it. So he first he does the classic British technique, which is uh, it's not LGBT love, it's LGB. The T is different, which is like uh, not something that like Americans give a shit about because if they genuinely have an opinion. It's usually like, yeah, they're all immoral perverts who are definitely going to hell and, and you know, satanic. Or on the other side, the, the, the average American just like maybe thinks they're like weird and, and gross, but overall like doesn't give a shit enough. You know what I mean? And then you, of course, have people who are supporters. Um, but he's trying to do that. He's trying to make that distinction stick which uh, hasn't really worked in America. It has worked in the UK because they are uniquely transphobic, but doesn't really work in America. But let's move well, on. Hold on. This member, Haiti, says, I'm pansexual and oh, 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 Iowan. So we found her. We found her. Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. I was joking. Obviously, there's, uh, I'm sure there's plenty of pansexuals in Iowa. All right. So here is Benny Boy. Or, I mean, I'm vivid. I am pansexual, so I was okay. just wondering what your views on same-sex couples were. I don't have a negative view of same-sex couples, but I do. Uh, all right. Fuck it. So, 
Here's the Just no 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 it. wait 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 no you gotta hear the bar. What do you okay? think? Because well he's at first like trans people they are not part of this community. She's yeah. like okay so how do you feel about the community without the trans people? Hate them. No no he goes I don't have a negative view at all but no 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 listen. No to he the... said I have a negative view. No oh, I I'll, don't I'll, have a negative yeah, okay, view. I missed that. Watch the bars that come after this though right. because it's so fucking stupid it it. Gave me an aneurysm when I saw it yesterday. All right, I misheard him. Let's. I went back a little bit. On same-sex couples work. I don't have a negative view. He literally said I would have a negative no, view. No, I, I don't have, have a negative, negative view, view, Ethan. That's what he's saying. But just I why would he? I don't have a. Ne oh, I don't have negative view. I heard it that time, guys. I heard it. Yeah, but keep going. I heard it. You are. He got there, people. He you got are there. goblin mode today. You're, you're oh, goblin mode. Look how many times you paused the I'm trying, video. bro. Stop talking. It's 25 seconds. Play it. It's 25 seconds. Let it run. Like, I'm the only one. You're always pausing every five seconds. I just want to watch okay? Vivek spit, bro. <laughs> but I do this have guy, a negative you gay? of a tyranny of the minority. Oh! So, so I think that in the name of protecting against a tyranny of the majority, and there are times in this country's history where we have had a tyranny of the majority. We have now, it's called in the name of democracy, first of all, the tyranny of majority, a terrifying yeah. prospect, democracy. The fact that this motherfucker says LGBT rights are the tyranny of minority is insane because, and obviously this person uh, is not like trying to have a debate with him at that moment. He's, she's just trying to figure out what his opinions are. 75% of the country believes in protecting safe sex, uh, same sex marriage. What the fuck do you mean, a tyranny of minority? Well, that is not a minority. <laughs> the minority is the 25% evangelical Protestants who are like, no, actually, that's demon shit, and they're all pedophiles, and they need to go to hell, and, and they can't get married. That's the tyranny of minority. The Republican Party's entire strategy revolves around implementing the tyranny of minority. They don't even hide it. They often will openly state that by saying the tyranny of majority. America was founded on eliminating the tyranny of majority. That's why they have the Electoral College. This is not a real democracy. This is a this is a constitutional republic, sir. Like that's that's a Republican line. So very odd for him to take this position. And doubly odd that Republicans were like glazing him saying he he did such a good job. Well, who who is he speaking for exactly? He's asking someone who's part of the LGBT community, and he's like, No, trans people, they don't belong. Trust me. Yeah. It's like, well, did you, well, you're talking to a member of the LGBT. She disagrees. So who are you speaking for? Benny Johnson? Uh, also, like, yeah. yeah, are you gay? Like, what the I fuck mean, do who, you know what about? The fu yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who are you speaking for? Maybe, maybe he pulled Obama and he, he imagined having sex with men in his dreams in order to riz up some bisexual Marxist queens in, <laughs> in college. And pussy too. All right, I'm gonna play it now. I'm gonna play it. Of the majority created a new tyranny of the minority, and I think that that's wrong. I don't think that somebody who's religious should be forced to officiate a wedding that they disagree with. Hold on, that's not happening. It's not. Nobody's being forced to officiate weddings. No, but but Republicans love making fake uh, problems that's not a that thing, they right? cry about. No, there is one aspect of this uh, that Republicans uh, often point to, which is. Uh, churches still get subsidies for adoption programs, for example, and they are a major network uh, of, you know, adoption providers okay. in this country. And uh, same-sex couples have to, by law, be allowed to adopt at the church adoption programs. And uh, if they don't abide by it, which they can still refuse, they won't get any federal subsidies. So that's like a big point of contention. But within, that's not officiating. But yeah, the officiating of weddings, I'm just making pretty that sure up. is is I don't know how that works. Uh, I don't I don't know why he's like uh there is there's the gays are forcing us good Christians to officiate. Like what what gay couples like I want to go to a fucking Baptist church in the in the heart of the South where they're doing like snake charming and get gay married there. You know what I mean? By the way, we've been crunching the numbers on Mike's logo. Election Crime Bureau. We located this. Uh, this is we located this on PNG Tree. Security Shield Red Eagle logo design template vector. Hell yeah! And actually, How the hell you find lifetime. That? You can get the lifetime uh, license for a uh, hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Actually, yeah. So, 
I Dave. could be wrong about. Uh, I don't want to speak for uh, Mr. Ramaswamy over here, but this is. I suspect what he's referring to with this, which this is a judge getting in trouble for refusing to officiate a wedding, which now is totally that, a different thing that, than now, that's a illegal. Church. Right. Okay. Now that's, that's a really fucking illegal. Okay. You can't do that. Let me read this uh, headline for you guys. Texas judge who doesn't want to perform gay marriage ceremonies hopes web designer Supreme Court case helps her fight. Right. Because that's your legal obligation. Yup. You cannot do that. So I, d I don't know for sure this is what he's referring to, but th this is the first thing forced to officiate gay wedding. I Google that, and this comes up from just last month. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that this is okay. what he's sort of referencing. Because gay marriage is not about churches, uh, even though uh, conservatives love talking about it from the angle of churches. It's about certification. It's a legal, it's a legal thing. Right. Well, Bergefell is is basically creating an, uh, a, a structure <laughs> where like states and all matter of courts have to legally recognize and certify uh, same-sex uh, couples. Right. I'm really, I had no idea. I don't hmm. think somebody who is a woman who's worked really hard for her achievements should be forced to compete against a biological man. Immediately hits the what? trans. Immediately hits the trans women in uh, in sports competing against cis women line, which is she like just asked wasn't him. the question at all. Yeah, where are you going? Yeah, with because this, they Vivi? can't. Because Vivi, my boy, that is the only soundbite that actually has some level. They've tested this out, as you know as well. They focus grouped this, and they found that as long as you tie it, like as long as you tie anti-trans rhetoric. Uh, not directly to like utilizing bathrooms or whatever, which is unsuccessful, but to an element of fairness, which actually does penetrate the American consciousness fairly well. That's actually a prescient <clears throat> message that people <throat> cling on to, which is why the discourse has moved into like dunking on the three trans girls at the fucking swim meet in the entire state of Kansas. It's like so stupid. Who cares? All Fuck right. you. Let's let's play it. Okay. Mute our mics. Okay. Gladly. We're both <laughs> muted. We're locked in. I don't think that somebody who's a woman that No. Nope. nope. Respects her bodily autonomy and dignity <laughs> should be forced to change clothes in a locker room with a man. That's not freedom, that's oppression. And so I believe that we live in a country where free adults should be free to dress how they want, behave how they want, and that's fine. But you don't oppress, you don't become oppressive by foisting that on others. And that especially includes kids, because kids aren't the same as adults. And so I think adults are free to make whatever choices they want. But do not force that ideology onto children before children are in a position as adults to make decisions for themselves. And so I think a lot of the frustration in the country, and if I'm being really honest, that I also share, mm. comes from that really new right culture of oppression where saying those things can actually get somebody punished. And in my case, it's part of why it's my responsibility to say them. And I respect that you may have a different opinion, and that's okay. It's part of what makes our country great is that you and I can be civil and have this conversation and that we live in a country that still gives us each of us the right to speak you know, to a presidential well, yeah, yeah actually right. okay. I, I just want you're to kind say of stealing this content you're not reacting to it hard enough but yeah sitting there quietly kind of so up. you should it's actually gonna probably up, we're gonna dude. comment now man <laughs> okay we I, I just want to say how beautiful this country is that i can openly wish for your uh, genocide yeah, it's like it's beautiful to have that kind of freedom. Yeah, it's it's beautiful to to live in a country where you can say that it's tyrannical for like trans women to coexist in society. Like, I support genocide. It's so wonderful, and then also Love? act out. Sorry, oh, what? Love said he supports genocide. It just threw me off. Um, also, act out the the uh, act out those desires in your legislative agenda, which genuinely does uh, harm trans people. Oh, All right. Eating food or it's there's a few pebbles there for. Uh, I saw. Uh, it's fine. Deal, yeah. Um, we better move on because we are running out of time. Okay. What is my? Can we cut to Mike real fast? Uh, stand I just want to see if he's still um, going on. Big news, 
he's he is still going on. Let me just hear him for like one, uh, thirty you seconds. You love him right. so much. I'm just yeah. Yeah. All right, let's check. Oh, he brought someone new on. It. You guys need to understand She's on her phone. That. She doesn't disengage. Yeah, she doesn't this care. This is so important. Boring. I had all these groups I call every Monday night. <laughs> I talk to the whole country, which goes out to a quarter millions. But you talk to I talk to all the leaders, and we're going, and we sit there, and we have fought. We What's have fought this? with lawsuits. We have fought with with canvassing. We've thought we fought with with, with <laughs> petitions. You name it, we've done all it. All right, thank we you, Mike. All right, thanks, country. Mike. We'll check back in. Thanks, Mike. We'll check back in on him. We got to talk about Crowder. Yeah, we got to talk about Crowder. So, um, are you aware of the cheating rumors with Crowder? No. It has to be with a man, right? There's no fucking... No, with women. Three different women. It's a like... Crowder? On. Yeah. Crowder's right. got so pipe game? You hadn't heard about this at all, right? No, this is news to me. This is this really... Is what, the fact that you haven't heard about it is what makes this story so interesting. Yeah, because, <laughs> because Crowder has <laughs> fallen off so cataclysmically that I don't think people even pay attention to him at mm -hmm. all. So, let me kind of take you through this wormhole. Okay, I love this. <clears throat> so, on Crowder's show, he's addressing the allegations... The allegations that we all expect him to be addressing is that he's showing his dick to everybody, yeah. who, everyone in, you know, But that's eyesight. not cheating. No. Because he doesn't like it. <laughs> no, but so, so point. what he addresses is not the, well, let me show you. He starts saying the cheating allegations. Uh, listen. Cheating in mm -hmm. NDAs? There have been the rumor mills been circulating. I know a lot of you have been asking me questions. Um, so I'm going to try and address this, I guess, as uh as tactfully as we can, and Gerald, you can just say, shut up, but um, <laughs> there have been a lot of stories, it has been brought to my attention uh, that there have been some stories out there circulating, um, some old, some new, regarding uh, divorce that's been going on, obviously I've been going through for a very long time. We have not discussed this, and I want to be very clear, this is under confidentiality from the court, from the judge, and uh, I will honor that, so I won't be discussing that, and I would caution anyone, by the way, on either side, move on, conclusions on what would necessarily be incomplete information uh, because force so like a recent hit piece this is something that uh recent yeah, hit I, I need piece. To address uh, that uh, i have ever committed uh, adultery and i say unrelated to the divorce because uh, the media smear campaign is of an accusation so he's going on saying i've been accused of who's accused him of uh, i mean candace owens good I think. question nobody as far as we were aware had. this is so yeah i i went into this video expecting it to be about the dick pic stuff and as he was saying this, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is he even referring to? And I started Googling around trying to find the hit piece that he's talking about and nothing was coming up. So it's just like, this is just a guy suddenly unprompted screaming, I didn't cheat on my wife. You think he's doing this to like uh, move away from like, I showed my dick to my coworkers? Well, like hold on. <laughs> okay. Uh, we all know that happened. So no, no, I know, but like people, people would be ripping into him way more if they were hyper focusing on that, and that's why he's trying to be like, I never cheated with women, with women. I mean, I fuck women. I don't know. I, I think a lot of his supporters, if there's any left at this point, wouldn't be happy to find out he was a serial cheater. You know. So what was he referring to? The only post we could find about it was on Kiwi Farm. Oh, jeez. And we know this is the post he was talking about, right? Because yeah. it was in the fucking thumbnail of the video. Screenshot of the Kiwi Farms post in the thumbnail of his video. He's addressing <clears throat> yes. a fucking... I didn't even know this website still existed, by the way. It's like on the dark web now or something. It's or maybe it's work. not. I don't know, but it, it's, it's, it's not easy. Nobody knew about this. It is the worst website on the planet. So let me Straight read this up. post to you. Hi, all. I'm a close friend of those in crowded circles. I don't know where else to post this without getting threats. So here it goes. You've all seen the article about Steven making his employees sign crazy uh, NDA contracts. You're probably wondering why. He already had articles about him sending dick pics. He's had articles about him flashing himself. So what else could there be? I have the answer. He cheated on his on Hillary. Not once, but three with three women. He said on his show there was no infidelity. But not only is he a hypocrite, but he's a liar. Below are the women he fornicated with in an adulterous, <laughs> adulterous <laughs> liaison. <laughs> <laughs> These are just the ones his employees know about. There's probably more. Steve, and then so he links to their... All their Instagram accounts. Steven had come into town to do makeup for the show. Had her come into town. Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, for the show. And Steven and her would hook up. She used to uh, blank. Uh, she's a big Second Amendment pro shooter weapon who posts her stuff on Instagram. Steven tried to hide her identity from the staff, saying she was his aunt's friend. 
but they figured it out. Here's the third one. The Bible is very clear. Wait, That's can what I I'm see the ladies. Uh, I no. I can show it to you. I decided yeah. we shouldn't show it because it, it's I don't know. We'll show, yeah, we'll none of them are public figures. These are oh uh, like, okay yeah. Never the, mind. The Bible is very clear about adultery. Exodus twenty fourteen. Finally, dude. And wow, can we I'm talk glad, about dude, like, This guy, yeah. this guy's like writing <laughs> fucking notes in here. He's like APA formatted and shit. He's like, here's why it's actually illegal in the Bible. <laughs> okay. But these are his. These are his people. So that's why I think this would hit harder than the dick pic thing because people can just deny that. Steven Crowder has always said he's a Christian, but he's a fraud. His adultery is an open secret among the staff, but they can't say anything because he makes them sign NDAs. Go back at their social media accounts. You'll see the Francine Crowder, Steven's mom, and Dave Landu follow them. It's a nobody, but Francine likes her post. I tried to archive some stuff, but no luck, but I trust you'll go for it. So, okay. Wait, what if it's actually his aunt's friend or something so it could just be made up right yeah so right. here they provide proof Cause like because here's why hold on like why else they would fucking his proof. mom follow her mm -hmm. like so Stephen they Crowder's mom is following girls that steven crowder is piping like on the <laughs> side that's weird that is weird i have proof okay this poster also uh, to be clear in that we didn't get to it but in steven's video he admits that he did have relations with these women. Wait, what? But, That's but okay. after the divorce, he says that there was no cheating, but that he's been dating since the divorce, and he uh -oh. says that they were all really meaningful but brief relationships uh -oh. that he had. So he did fuck these girls. He had yeah, yeah. No, he. It, it's uh -oh. not really in question. It's just more the timeline of when it happened. I'm just. Okay, am I so crazy? I'm the one. I'm more shocked that Steven Crowder is like. Why is he addressing this? No, I'm no, more fucking shocked girls. than his fucking I know what girls. Saying, yeah. Like, oh, what? Yeah. I did not think that he was, like, maybe interested he's in that at all. Maybe, well, he, maybe go he's to the bi. Next, oh, go to the next image, bi. because that's... The proof was actually prompted by somebody asking that exact question. Okay, so, as a uh, good faith signal that they are, in fact, close to Crowder's inner circle, this person provided a leaked audio recording of a secret meeting they had that clearly plays... Steven's voice and what his producer's voice. Fuck? Now listen to this. This is leaked by this user. <laughs> All aboard. All aboard. Yeah, we're the re-platforming kind of space. Now look, that doesn't mean Nick Fuentes is going to come on. And That's clearly his producer's voice. It's Gerald, no question. Gerald or whatever. Yeah. Peter no. Pan, the second banana guy. A in this clip, they're talking about how they uh, distance themselves from Nick Fuentes. But if somebody's being silenced or if somebody is being, you know, deplatformed, we want to have a conversation with them if they fit our values, mm -hmm. right? Or close enough to our circle of values, right? So if somebody is getting silenced by YouTube or anywhere else, uh, it, it's potentially somebody that we'd like to talk to. Uh, if if this, the channel size is big enough, like it has to make sense, right? Mm -hmm. You can't just be anybody who has a, a webcam and wants to put on a show. But yeah, if somebody's out there. Yeah, I mean, this seems legit. Shit, to me, right? This like, is a never before heard recording. It's like a secret recording of an internal meeting at Louder with Crowd. So, I mean, like, so it's this is pretty former, credible. That, I assume he's a former employee. Former right. employee or yeah. got it from a former employee, but obviously but credible. But somebody recent, because th this replatforming thing that they're talking about, that's the Alex Jones thing that we talked about last week. So this yeah. is within the last few weeks. And and I think we're the first media company. Nobody picked Nobody up on this. I have not this. seen it talked this about anywhere. And it, I would never have been aware of it if Crowder hadn't brought it up. It's Why so did, weird. It's that's so odd that he brought it up. Thing. This is a Leftovers exclusive. Yeah. It's, it's, it's still odd. I mean, he says he had sex with them afterwards. So, I mean, maybe he did. Maybe he didn't actually cheat on them. Because, like, the yeah. only... The only proof that he did actually cheat on his wife with these uh, with these women is Candace Owens claiming that uh, or insinuating that he actually committed adultery, and also that uh, Stephen. Cr I mean, also this post. Like, other than that, there isn't really anything that that makes the timeline stick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm just being super critical because, like, this website is not. Oh, exactly, for sure, we should uh, be skeptical. But yeah, I, I, this website is not exactly. All, all it's proof of is that they're somewhat credible. They, if they have the secret yeah, recording I mean, that the I've guy never might, heard before. Yeah, the yeah. guy might be credible, but he could literally be. I mean, here, think about it this way: if we're if we're looking at every angle, if we're looking at every opportunity, when I see something like this, I think to myself, like, who's the gain? What from this kind of situation? 
It could be a fallen, uh, it could be a former employee. It could be a friend of a former employee that wants to get back at Steven Crowder and then uh, make, like, use that recording to, one, create a sense of uh, authority and mm-hmm. credibility, only to turn around and, and, and uh, mix up the timelines a little bit, just like mash them together to claim that Steven Crowder post divorce was actually fucking these ladies uh, pre divorce. It's possible that it's not true. Yeah. yeah. The the only uh, the only element of it that I find rather strange is like that he did hook up with one of the ladies that he actually brought into town to do his makeup. Uh, even if he had sex with her uh, after the divorce, it's still odd that he was like, you know, that's that's a little suspicious for uh, sure. The poster continued. Someone said. Yeah, they're not guys. I'm calling bullshit. Uh, sorry, there's, there's a little offensive here, so I'm not going to read it. I'm just kind of paraphrasing it. Most of the guys who have worked for him all think he's definitely closeted bisexual, but he still makes a show of being into women. That's how it got out. He was banging these chicks. Amazing. Because he tries to keep it a secret, but ends up bragging to everyone he works with. That actually, that makes total sense. Because he's like, yo, I'm not gay. I just had sex. <laughs> Yeah. With this woman. It does like not no, saying gay? it did happen, but it sounds like something Crowder would like he would. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's the fucking, kind of guy that would. He revealed a lot more than uh potentially fucking uh women on the side. He he literally revealed his penis to his employees. So <laughs> So another person asked, That's interesting. Do you have any real evidence? And they responded People of affairs don't typically leave hard evidence lying around the office, but I certainly can offer evidence. I have inside Crowder connections. You know the big replatforming conference he had yesterday where he said any creator squeezed out by YouTube can join his platform? Yeah, Crowder specifically blacklisted Nick Fuentes, the hero, by the way. The yeah, probably. Here's an audio of CEO Gerard Morgan saying so in a private staff meeting. I mean, that's pretty... That's yeah, no, I'm... Pretty good. I, I, what Hassan I do, said is true, though. Like, they could have had the audio and used that yeah, to give themselves more credibility. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, do I believe that this person uh, most likely is close with someone that still works there, or did work there until very, very, very recently? Absolutely. Um, but there is no real evidence beyond. There is no real evidence beyond Stephen Crowder uh, bringing one of these ladies while he was in a marriage, according to this poster. Too. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like you can you can actually find hard evidence for something like that. You know what I mean? You can look at Instagram posts and see if that person was actually in studio. You know what I mean? That that that's more conclusive than any of the other so, ones. My theory like on liking why their Instagram posts and whatnot is not Whoa! exactly conclusive. Oh, she's going crazy. Uh oh, she got the zoom. Kai is getting restless. <laughs> oh my god! Hi, what crazy the dog, heck dog. Crazy dog. <laughs> no biting. Crazy dog! Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. The only uh, possible reason... <laughs> he's getting restless. Why is she... What is she's she a doing? puppy. She, you can't coop her up. <laughs> Olivia said she just, she just pooped, so oh, that might be... Oh, that's why. She's stoked right now. Yeah, they get pretty stoked. Yeah. When they poop. Don't you? Right. Feeling light, feeling God free. Damn. The only possible explanation I can think of of why he addressed this in the way he did is that he knows there's an article coming that's going to completely out this story and he's trying to get ahead of it. Maybe, Might be yeah. Of it. Might, I can see that. Yeah. But here's his thumbnail where he shows the Kiwi Farms screen. That's dot. insane. What a fucking stupid thing to do, by the way, because like we Crazy. wouldn't have heard about this. Never would have heard about this. That's Most why, people would not have heard about this if it, if he didn't. That's why I, I, I can only assume that he knows the reporter's working on this. Yeah. That does seem... Yeah, but I don't otherwise know. I mean, I don't where's the sure, original but, uh, article? Where's the other article that he's in the that he put in the thumbnail from? Is so it like I, I like, did find that one eventually, but only from only from seeing it in his thumbnail. Is that like a Daily Dot article or is it? No, no, it's the uh, uh, current. Here it is. It's current revolt, and it's what the fuck some, is that? Yeah, I got it right here. It's like nothing, and the it, the post had like no engagement. Um, let's not put it on it's, screen because they have the Kiwi Farms post in there, uh, not censored. So anyway, this post has 11 likes. I mean, right. and it's two like, comments. And, and I I had to dig to even find this. <laughs> this is just like a blog that literally nobody uh, visits <laughs> about him cheating, and this Kiwi Farms post. I mean, how odd is this? Yeah, and I searched around on Twitter to see if there was, like, buzz in his circle after the episode, because I thought, surely, his audience must be, like, 
me and thinking, what is he referring to with this? And uh, and I couldn't like. There's like no discourse about this at all. Also, even the only person talking about it. Well, no. ho well, uh, I'm I'm assuming other people are going to be curious about it now. One other juicy little morsel. Uh, Sam Cedar, friend of the show, made a prediction that the mysterious leaker is actually his producer, Gerard Morgan. Gerald. Ger Gerald. Gerald Morgan. And a juicy morsel of a uh, tip came out that suggests he might be right. Now check this out. Um, here is... Uh, he deleted the Twitter post, but yeah, so here's the images. pictures here. This is the, uh, the author of the, hit, of the quote, hit piece. On Crowder. The okay. original one, the actual Diana piece, Falzone. The, the, the dick pic article. Gerard is in her comments, bro, back in 2019. Happy birthday. This is the girl that he might have cheated with? No, no, no. 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 This is the author of the, of the quote hit piece about the dick pics and stuff. At current revolt. Or no, 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 no. this is matters. totally separate. This Medi is about the media dick pics. Oh, this is Media Matters. This is yeah, a Media yeah. Matters author. Or Wait, media, go on. It's not. I think it was Media Matters. It was me no. Media no, 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 it was Medi Mediaite. Yeah. Mediaite. Mediaite. Yeah. It was yeah. Media Matters. So the she's the one that wrote this article, and she has this anonymous source. Nobody knows who it is. Sam was like, it's got to be his producer. Here he is in her, d in her responses, 2019. That's crazy. He went back and erased it, but wait, there's more. Um, and then more currently here. I mean, we're basically outing. The, we're, we're helping Steven Crowder right now. These are the <laughs> we're outing potentially the, the rat. Yeah. <laughs> well, he better make an example of him. You know what I mean? I'd like to see that. And maybe even in Crowder style with a leather whip and uh, a gag ball. Mm -hmm. Love to see that. Uh, here he f he liked this post. Okay, outed. He's the CEO. He's not just like a right. producer. He's like the guy. And then even furthermore. There's even another damning uh, clue here, going back to uh, 2023. This is this is breaking, bro. This is in January of this year. She posted a <laughs> article about uh, a tribute to her father, and Gerard Gerald is in the comments. This is really touching. This man is a fan of her work, and once this post went up on Sam's subreddit, her all of his comments were erased. This man is her anonymous source. Potentially. Allegedly. Allegedly, maybe. Allegedly. It Theoretically. Theoretically. What do you think? It's all, dude, his, his world is collapsing. It's I mean, just ruined. I mean, the clip, the audio clip that was leaked in the previous uh, forum that we were looking at mm -hmm. actually did paint Gerald in a <coughs> decent light because he was the one who was outspoken against Nick Fuentes. So it doesn't even like... good that he was against Nick? Yeah, I think like... Because well, Nick's Goyper freaks are gonna... Well, yes, but also if that were to be... If that were to be played in the media, yes, he would look better. He would look much he's, better. He's looking the, for another job. Yeah, he would look like the, the guy who's like the reasonable Republican in the crew that is uh, mm -hmm. saying no to that, right? Pretty Potentially. Exciting. Yeah. I love it all. I mean, yeah, he's he's uh he's definitely got a lot of problems. Um chickens coming home to roost, I guess. I want to uh, check back in on Trump's fourth indictment real fast, but can we check in on Mike Lindell? Um I'm going to guess that he is still ranting. I want to see you where wanna, he's uh, at. Anybody willing to take that bet? In this historic Oh. What do you know? Let's see. This the is website got live. Is this is live. How many people are watching now? For to about five uh, years now. Still six k. When we talk about that, yeah. that's where you, we we've had Refresh. three months. Did you just been open this fresh? That back. I did. Yeah, yeah. No, that should be. Uh, so let's listen in. Let's listen. That should in. be accurate. Working on this election crime bureau site, which you're going to hear about in a little bit. Okay. There's other tools you've got to hear about today. <laughs> um, and that is one of them. So anyone out there looking for right now, like I say, I would like it yet? to get enough donations where I can make them all. He needs donations. Them all. We, we've got enough that we're producing to, to, to get these falls election. We have to get the, the big ones covered this fall. And, uh, How many polling places are there in yes, America? You need, need one funds. of these everywhere, right? But I wasn't, Wait, I oh, you got to sell a lot before then. The world, like, Mike just, I mean, he's, potentially he's a million. You know what, people? I, 
I got to no, be the worst grifter that thousands. ever lived if they call me a grifter. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. I got $60 million I just borrowed one, dude. another five, three weeks ago and it just completely wiped out on money, right? Mm. <laughs> and uh, But like I said, I think yeah, that's I what I mean. I, I, he, is, he is right about that. I, said, I don't think he's I like, every dime I think he's I a real believer. Every dime I, can I think Mike Lindell is a, is a true believer. Oh, yeah. Because like no one is no one is wiping out their uh, their entire net worth <laughs> like this. He's putting he's putting it on the line. I do respect him for that. Look, he, is he breaking down because he's losing all his money? Guys, uh, Mike, hold on to that thought. Protect your Thank retirement you. from CD politics, DC politics. Get a free info kit on gold IRAs by texting RSBN to nine eight nine eight nine eight. I'm gonna um. Um, we're going to come back to the, the plan and stuff again, but I want to uh, uh, I want to bring up the, the important part, the, one of the big pieces to this hmm. is that we have people reporting the things or the people. Okay, so we'll check back way, in before we end we the know show. If there, was, if there were people. I can see that the uh, convention he's hosting is in full swing. And hearts and minds, my friends, hearts and minds. Uh, Trump was indicted for the fourth time. I mean, woohoo, I guess. I don't know. The fuck? It's like, <laughs> bring it on. This is the Georgia one where he tried to... I did everything right and they indicted me. <laughs> he, he was looking for the votes. He couldn't find the votes, but now he's busted. God, 91. Uh, he's now facing 91 charges across four separate indictments. It's all happening for uh, President Donald Trump. Uh, and then this time, actually, he is going to be perp walked and get his mugshot taken the uh, georgia yes uh this da or the attorney general uh, said he's being charged on rico charges which to me makes so much sense he is, i mean it is racketeering he's a mob boss bring oh, out rico. the rico charges rico and uh the beautiful irony of course is that rudy giuliani who uh, was a trailblazer in using RICO charges in New York when he was governor to take down the mob, is now being charged with RICO charges himself. Yeah, he is Mr. RICO. And RICO American suave, mayor. Eh? So suave. Um, yeah, so he's going down. Poor Rudy. He doesn't have money to pay for his fucking lawyers. Poor guy. RICO. Hasn't he been through enough? Giuliani's struggling under massive legal bills. <laughs> After defending Trump. God damn, just give the man a break, dude. He's doing his best. Um, uh, yeah, 13 uh, ch counts of racketeering. He's got 25th. He's looking real Don't flippable. Rico. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think, uh, too. For sure. I think he's like a very self interested guy. I don't think he's a good Trump diehard. And I think he is at least smart enough to know. That he can cover his own ass. Um, a lot of these guys don't think they—they they probably, if they were to defend Donald Trump, they probably do it because they don't think like any kind of legal repercussions is going to happen to Trump. Um, Tim Pool has been banging the war drums, claiming civil war over civil and over war. again. Okay, bitch, go grab a rifle. I like, mean, don't. don't or I do mean, that. well, I'm just saying, what are you, a pussy? Go grab the rifle. Let's let's go. See what you got, bitch. Well, the the reality is, you know what I mean. Seen, Where's the Civil War, Tim? Fucking we have ass. seen uh, that in the post January sixth world, especially when a lot of these entitled business owners that attended January sixth and participated in it finally got legal repercussions that they were not expecting at all. Mm -hmm. There has been a genuine momentum shift in uh, on-the-ground acts of protest <laughs> from the Trump side. That's why <laughs> when you go to the courthouses, every single indictment, you expect there to be like at least somewhat of a crowd, and every single indictment, the crowd is smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. So I find that really interesting. Um, I don't think that it's happening. I don't think that it, there is any kind of real momentum. This comment is fantastic. Uh, the top come under, comment under a Civil War claim... The only civil war you'll fight is in the one in your mind when faced with the choice between what to grab a Mountain Dew Code Red or Monster Energy from the little fridge in your basement. Not bad. I feel like that's a, an attack on me. I caught a stray there <laughs> for no reason. That's a very difficult choice sometimes. Well, to be bring it baldy. Well, to be fair, you're not calling for a civil war. Uh, I'm not. So. 
The yeah, ten, because I mean, of listen. the civil war in my mind between whichever Mountain Dew energy drink I want. <laughs> it's a tough choice. I don't. Yeah. You know. But grab the little sword and, and musket off your wall and go, you know what I mean? Let's, These, let's, let's go I, for it, Tim. I'm not going to lie. They have, they have turned to slacktivism quite, quite a bit over the course of the past couple of years. Like, they did go from attending Trump rallies and actually being a physical presence everywhere, uh, the Trump supporters, I mean, to straight up just like crying on Twitter. Right. Yep. Um, which is good. I guess that's progress in some ways. Uh, but I do not foresee this uh, turning into a legitimate, uh, I don't know, a legitimate riot anytime soon. No. Because there's like 45 divorced dads that are jobless enough to attend these sorts of things. And they're all out of their fucking minds. Like they're not getting the same, they're not getting the same uh, energy in the crowd. There's not enough people that are out there putting their bodies on the line for Donald Trump. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Real sad. it's a fantasy he's living in. Ben Shapiro had an interesting take. He said, whatever you think of Trump indictment, one thing is for certain. The glass has now been broken over and over again. Political opponents can now be targeted by legal enemies. <laughs> Running for office now carries the legal risk of going to jail on all sides. That is, in I mean, right. And what's interesting, though. Is that he wrote a book about it. <laughs> he wrote a book, exactly, called, uh, it's, you know, you can even still get it on Amazon. The People vs. Barack Obama, the criminal case against the Obama administration. In which he details out <laughs> actually utilizing Rico's mm -hmm. as, a, as a mechanism to, to, to uh, potentially prosecute former presidents. And, right, and he actually even says it. I mean, here. Yeah. And you don't need to. I mean, that's what's so insane. In this country, you don't need to do that. This is what the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, the RICO Act, was created in 1970 to go after the mafia. The premise of that act was that it was very difficult to tie the heads of the mafia, the Don Corleone figures, from the Lu to, to the Luca Brasi figures, because there was never a direct chain of command. Right? There was never a direct order. So they created RICO to say, okay, it's obvious that you wanted this person to be killed. You're obviously a conspiracy. And so now we're going to drag you all into court together. That's what the executive branch is. It is a mafioso organization. There well, you is. don't understand. That was Obama. <laughs> pretty, pretty great. Who is a Muslim? Listen, a criminal Muslim. Rudy, I want you to go outside the dildo shop and give a message <laughs> to the people. Rico, I want eleven thousand eight hundred and seventy votes. Wipe I your face. Fight. You're dripping, for Christ's sake, Rudy. Your mess. Didn't Af look well. Afterwards, go into the dildo shop, pick yourself up something nice. <laughs> You're gonna do it. Uh, so, <laughs> so Ben, uh, you know Ben. Ben is uh, chirping about it now, and he's saying it's actually not hypocritical. Uh, and I didn't change my mind about this because it's like it's just the Democrats are abusing it for silly reasons or whatever the fuck. And it's like his I mean, original take in 2014 when he was on the Larry King show was actually quite apt, in my opinion. Uh, where he said, maybe these uh, presidents will think twice about behaving in criminal ways. You could prosecute every former uh, administration. But that was, of course, he was saying that because he wanted to come across as impartial when absolutely advocating to do this to Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. Now that it's happening to Donald Trump, he is singing a different tune. Of course. Yeah. Oh, it. here is the Gorka. This is the best one. This what? is the best line. This is the best line of defense I've ever heard I mean, in this, my entire life. This is basically the end of the conversation. Yeah. <clears throat> He's going to end this shit right now. Gorka's kind of the inverse of Son. Yeah, his head is so giant. I love that. It means he's really smart, right? Yeah. Or it means well, he has done. a birth defect. I don't know. Yeah. We're not really. Could sure. be he's got that good Vitezzi Ren skull. And there's nothing wrong with birth defects. We love our birth defect, folks. Yeah. There's some... <laughs> <laughs> Some of our most loyal supporters. <laughs> Should I hit it? Should I hit it? Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We Whatever. love him, folks. Probably I, I'm a birth kept defect. That I, I'm to a yourself, birth defect. My guy. I mean, that's kind of true, right? I, I've got mad birth defects, bro. Yeah, you have my, a birth defect? Microcephaly is no laughing matter, Ethan. What's your birth defect? Mm. Other than the shoulder thing. Gross cephaly. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I have, uh, I'm double jointed. There it is, freak. Probably should have kept Ableist. that to yourself, my guy. All right, guy. Gorka, let's let's hear what you got to say. And let's be clear. I mean, <clears throat> read the transcript of the Raffensburger call. I've got it in front of me. President Trump said what? He said, 
I just want to find 11,780 votes. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, I just want to have vanilla ice cream mm -hmm. for dessert. It's yeah. not a crime to say, I just want something. They're trying to turn that into a crime. <laughs> it's as your guest has said, it's as the president said yeah. in Iowa at the weekend. Oh, this is about election interference and preventing yeah. him from being the man who will unseat Joe Biden. Here, I'll use, I'll use a different, that, that I'll, I'll change the words yeah. a little bit. I just want you to put $11,780 mm. into this burlap set. Just, just stop, just stop going okay. there. It's, it's too. I had to hit the button. Don't explain the joke. Please. I had to hit the button. <laughs> yeah. Start I said, the I just want, to, I just <laughs> want something and then something terrible. That's the joke. And I didn't explain right. it. Right. But what's the difference, right? It's like Al Qaeda saying. Okay. Yeah. It's. I just want. Yeah. To crash airplanes into the twin towers. Yeah. It's not. It's, they it, did. I do love. That, I they love. Do that. I love the conservative strategy of just like trying to basically claim that no crime could ever occur by just speech like you could never engage in an act of conspiracy you could never engage in fraud you can't do anything by just speaking like the idea like charles manson completely innocent never touched a a, a person True. Never. literally but why is why is Charles Manson in prison? Why was he why was he sent to prison? After but, all, it was just simply asking for ice cream. But the, it's funny because this whole thing's about RICO charges, where Ben Shapiro's like, "Yeah, no, I get the need," and then G the Gorka's like, "Every mob boss should be acquitted for it. all <laughs> they want is saying they want stuff." Rico. Yeah, RICO. Uh, RICO. <laughs> Once again, uh, uh, men can't have hobbies. You can't, you can't <laughs> ask to, to find 11,780 votes, very yeah. specific number. Read the British. transcript, please. All I Thank said is I want my wife dead. Yeah. Does it mean that she died under mysterious circumstances? Yeah. I had nothing to do with it. There's the other great line. What of man doesn't like, want his wife dead? The other, the other great line of defense is like when it's it's unsuccessful, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, we tried legal methods and they said no, so we went the illegal route. Is that illegal? Taught her to say Boyakasha. And so this is the end of the conversation, though. They basically took it all the way to like, yeah, we did that shit. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what? I mean, even I watched. God did. I watched Ben Shapiro's uh, video. Uh, God forsaken. Uh, it was only like nine minutes, uh, addre directly addressing the hypocrisy of him having written this book and everything. And it was notable to me. It was one hundred percent just. Well, why don't they do this to Hunter Biden and the Biden cramp crime family? He at no point said that Trump. <laughs> shouldn't be indicted under RICO charges, which I thought was interesting. Dude, but. I don't care. Dude, if they want to do the Hunter Biden thing, I really don't care. Let them do take it. Take them down. You know? Yeah, take yeah, them down. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Take, put them in prison. I, I don't agree. give a fuck. It is shady what he did. Why is, they, why is he getting paid half a million dollars from from Ukraine energy? Well, it's they don't care about... The, the thing is, like, first of all, I don't think they give a shit about, like, Hunter Biden utilizing the Biden last name to get money from foreign nationals, right? Like, they want to tie it to Joe Biden. Yeah. Yeah. Which is ironic because you definitely could tie Jared Kushner and Donald Trump Jr. to Trump in way more direct ways uh, than these guys are trying to tie Hunter Biden to Joe Biden. Um, but ultimately, at the end of the day, if if there is uh, something that is illegal, yeah, you you should go to jail. Oh yeah, How about do it? it. I'm cool, man. But they I don't, don't want care. they want to they want to tie it to Joe Biden. That's go the problem. do that too. I don't care. It's like well, that would be one sick has as nothing well. Nothing to do with the other. <laughs> yeah, take that would also down. be sick. But I don't think they have enough juice there, so they're just like trying to create momentum around it in these like very weird ways where 
like for example, Republicans love making a show of things, right? Mm. But the congressional hearings that have taken place with the Hunter Biden investigation task force yeah. have always been behind closed doors where they're like interviewing witnesses and whatnot. If they actually had legitimate proof connecting Hunter Biden to Joe Biden through the witnesses that they've, uh, that they've cross-examined, they would be blasting that on every media outlet. They would have open door sessions. They would invite cameras. Uh, they would cross-examine in public, right? Mm -hmm. And then everyone in America would see the reality of the, the Biden crime family. But the reason why they're doing it in closed-door sessions is so they can, like, kind of massage the truth mm -hmm. and cultivate a narrative, uh, which they effectively do on Fox News. If you watch any Fox News, you'll hear this all the time. They can't shut the fuck up about it. But then the news articles that come out of the closed-door sessions or even the, the real quotes that the... Republicans that are in those closed door sessions give to the media is always like, well, not exactly. There's not anything really tying them together. <laughs> you know. Well, and like mm -hmm. I said, they they have this whole like mythology that Democrats or other or liberals or leftists care and are want, care about Hunter Biden being innocent. I, I care about Hunter Biden. Well, I, yeah, I mean, listen, he's he's got a nice. He's, I haven't seen his cock to be honest. I haven't. He's, seen him. Really? Many people are saying he's got a nice penis. People are saying he has a nice penis. He he likes to do crack, which is the the working class uh, cocaine. You He's know, a man I mean? of the people. He's a man, He's a man of, the of the people. He wants strippers to unionize, mm -hmm. right? You know, or sex work. Yeah. It's kind of funny because ding, like ding ding ding. Go dude, on. Everything that they've gotten Hunter Biden on, I've said this before. Everything that they've gotten Hunter Biden on is basically like the Republican bingo. Um, <laughs> they got him on gun charges. Uh, unlawful possession of a gun because you lied and said you weren't under the influence when purchasing it, okay? Which is incredibly Republican. That's a Second Amendment violation, brother. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. Uh, tax evasion, again. Oh, small yeah. Government. That just means he's smart. We hate paying taxes. That means I'm smart. Right. Um, And they, they were like, oh, he's failing to pay child support. That's like, that's the Republican trifecta. <laughs> Wait, is he really not paying child support? No, I think he is, but they were, I, I remember hearing about like, uh, them claiming that he was hiding his like love child uh, mm. from one of his affairs. So yeah, I mean, listen, eat your heart out, Hunter Biden. I don't care. It's got one's got nothing to do with the other. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Good dude, let's do it all. Let's have a let's have a fucking ball. Um, I know that we're out of time, but I have just been informed of some uplifting news. Uh, to kind of bring the episode Mike full, Lindell cir related? full circle. No, not Mike Lindell related. Mm. Bird related. The birds are safe, people. Whoa. The birds are safe. Let's go. Fuck you, Ethan. That's yeah. incredible. The bird, how, they were right there, man, and they, they live. God damn. I mean, well, that, they can fly, they so. They live, man. They live. <laughs> <laughs> well, not if they're trapped in one of those cages. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> well, they're alive. They're, they live. We're good. We're good. All right, before, so, so that's, that's uplifting. That's fantastic. Poor burbs. And then, can we just check in with Mike one last time before we leave? You love him so much. <laughs> well, you know, this is breaking. This is historical. Uh, okay, one second. Uh-oh. Uh uh oh! Hopefully the deep state didn't get him. Deep state didn't. Oh, it's oh, is yeah, it done? Is. Yeah, no, no. he's, still he's not going to be dumb for another. I'm not exaggerating. Like 12 to 14 more hours of this. Let's hear. Let's it's hear. Not even exaggerating. You can you can no, play us I off with think. Mike. I tried to think what how would how play are they going to say they didn't lie? Let me hear for I mean, a minute. Then play us off. Well, this may be why they go silent because now we're going to go into management organ management consultant org charts. Right. So this they, is our, exciting. This is my organization here now that we set up the election crime bureau. So. You you see at the top, and, and, and Patrick will go so through sad. it now. There's this four. is where all the <laughs> oh, real-time crime uh, reports chart. and everything come Workflow to. Chart. When we have those groups out in the field that need help, like defend Florida, every single, this is the hub now that runs the engine where all right, at the well, top thanks for there, watching, when I'm everybody. sitting there you and I'm hearing from playing, all Dan. these divisions. What's that? And you can keep playing. Play us off into the distance. Okay, well, like, well, yeah, well, summit plan. All right. Thank you, Son. Always a pleasure. Yeah, right? uh, tomorrow's yep. episode yeah, is going to be Yeah, this is the better. lay of the land, so I'm Much at the better. top of the yeah, helm, obviously. Thank you for saying We got somebody named Director here, uh, good and luck uh, with he's your been pop directing up. us since the beginning oh, yeah. on pop all up, these activities. Uh, Pop-up shop on Sunday at Reconstruct unknown. on Melrose. Uh, on Melrose, you know the street. Yeah, uh, Reconstruct is the Reconstruct Studios is a oh, public place. Okay, so okay. there you yeah, go. It's a shop. Reconstruct. Yeah, I'll Melrose. be doing a meet and greet and a pop up. I'll be there. We're going to be giving away uh, pieces that are cut and sew, reconstruct, X 
ideology John Brown edition collaboration. Fun. Cut and sew pieces, handmade, uh, very unique. Hopefully you guys appreciate and enjoy that as long as you spend or have spent since July 1st, $250 on the website. Also, there's the ideology uh, hoodie, a new ideology hoodie that came out as well. There it the is, website. folks. It's all happening. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, lift uh, mic up, please. Bring Mike back? You know, yeah, all the way. We're literally being outspent so guys, by we'll see you tomorrow, to the tune Friday, of billions of dollars to none. After dark, you know, in many it's going to be a fun app. While we're scrambling around pennies one. together and, uh, to get on, thank you for being here. We, I think we did a lot of good today. <laughs> well, yeah. We did. But, I mean, but Mike is. We saved Mike the country no, from no, election fraud I mean, yet again. A, all these grassroots groups that are out here are. All right, guys, are, see you tomorrow. You know, and shout that out to Mike Lindell. Well. I mean, uh, when they're going off and saying it's going to cost you $7,000 to we, get a list of voters. True page. I mean, I don't know about how many of you guys have that sitting around in your wallet, but I don't. So. That's that. So this is really when you're you guys about know how much it cost me to put on this event, one million dollars, and I borrowed it. You know that's how important this is. I'm serious, you guys. This is a bit. Um, this is for all the marbles, folks. This is it. This is it. And so we need your help supporting this, and then the continued operations, obviously. And uh, um, one of the reasons I had struggled in politics was I didn't know how to ask for money. So, we're gonna, I, I but we're going to be asking either, for money. It's there. We have to. No. <laughs> we have to. I um, and so then the last is the operations unit. So that's the back office. That's stuff every organization right. deals with. Right. And before as before Pat.